Welcome everybody to episode 62 of the ADV podcast. We've got a, an interesting one for you today. Wait, 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 wait. What? I got to fight you on this one. Okay, why? So when it's not that important, it's an important one. But today yeah. is quite possibly the most important one out of 62 episodes that we've done and it's not important anymore. It's interesting. It's also incredibly important. It is important. Now, I, I got to do a little hype house first. Sure. The reason it's important is because... If you notice, we didn't have any content on our channels sure. other than the announcement to tell you to come here. Yeah. And, and we're happy to, to say that the people that... We've never had this many people wait for our live show sure. before. So obviously, a lot of you guys came over here. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you're new, right? Sure. So you can actually see our show every week. This is the stuff that you keep asking us to film. Hey, every time you request like topics everyone wants to know about the pretty girls that's yeah but they listen yeah don't don't keep delaying let's i know that that what so sorry i tried if, guys if we want to if you want to see us cover recent current events then this is where we cover things sure i'm i'm totally off frame yeah here. I was about, anyway i was about to say long story short mm -hmm. we are here to tell you something that happened to our channels personally and that's yeah. why it's important for you guys that maybe aren't even interested in this channel you're here for our content you're going to get it today Sure. There is a huge campaign of the CCP yeah. that is hiring pretty girls to be genocide deniers. Yeah, well, to whitewash any kind of whitewash, human rights yeah. atrocities in China, but also on to, our channels. Yeah, to try and discredit us and to try and attack us and to uh, dilute our message. It's, it's fascinating because of mm. the amount of threads we were able to unravel. Yeah. And unfortunately, they're very sloppy, chabador ways are going to be the the very thing that discredits them today. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I mean, let's yeah. get right into it, into what's new, because be, guys, we have some pretty hilarious things to get through as well. So let's hit that. What's new? We talk about what's new with regards to China. And guess what? We have for you another rap. Can you believe it? Yeah, so you guys thought maybe the raps would be over and cool down for a little while. I know you guys love the Chinese Communist Party raps. Mm-hmm. But they didn't stop. This one, we have a very special one today. Yeah. And uh, this one comes from Sichuan province. Uh, Sichuan is where all that spicy food is, where hot yeah. pot's from. Sure. Right? And this is from the local health department mm -hmm. to tell everyone to get vaccinated. Sure. Now, I got to say this. What? Hands down the best melody we've heard so far. Oh, yeah. It's actually now, a pretty good rap. It's nice, good skill, good flow. Yeah. Problem comes with the lyrics. So I actually wanted to, I was happy and excited yeah. to play this one yeah. because I said, good message telling people to go get vaccinated. Yeah, it's a good message. Bad part was when the lyrics hit, and then you actually see the translation of them, as you guys, a lot of people... Oh, let's just get let's into just it, get shall into we? It, yeah. Okay, but first of all, we can't forget to remind everyone of... Just... Oh, we have a soundbite now. Yeah, yeah, see that? Yeah. Oh, I, that I have to go back. Hang on, we'll do it again. <laughs> Nice. Sorry, just had to say. Anyway, let's quickly get straight yep. into this rap and we'll talk about it. We'll pause it a couple of times. Mm -hmm. so let's take a look. So... It's nice so far. Yeah, I mean, it's it really good. nice. It's just, it's not a good music quality to give it a three out of 10, but it feels good. It's yeah. like, yeah, let's go get jabbed. I can get behind that. And the sure. Chinese vaccine is the worst. It has about a 50% efficacy, right? Yeah. You're seeing resurgence in cases in places like Seychelles, right? Mm -hmm. Because of its efficacy is so bad. You'd think that the, the country that released the coronavirus by accident um, would be the one to make a really good vaccine, but no, it's just not the case. Right. This is where the problem comes. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, everyone's racing to get Chinese vaccines. For for those of you listening at home, that's what he's saying. Everyone's racing to get Chinese vaccines. <laughs> Other countries yearn for them day and night. <laughs> I mean, this is where everything falls on its face. Sure. They have to do this foreign worship thing where other countries, other countries' approval is more important than their own. Do you understand? Yeah. This is the first line. Not yeah. that, oh, go get vaccinated to protect your family. It's other countries want our vaccine so bad. Isn't yeah. that so, it's yeah. so sad. It's so good that other countries yeah. yearn for them day and night, so you better go get it. I think this guy needs his eyes examined, by the way. If you take a look at that picture, he's, <laughs> I, I'm sorry to say, he's got one eye looking off to the left, one eye looking off to the right. Well, if he's the guy rapping, he's actually not bad. Sure. Right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I just had to point that out. It's just, yeah. Anyway, it's, it's, maybe it's the way you paused it. Yeah. Maybe. 
自由梦想，有的地方总统打到手下。Some countries' presidents and prime ministers have been vaccinated. See what with, I'm saying? It's this、yeah. foreign worship thing. It's、yeah. like you didn't say anything about maybe you should get vaccinated to protect grandma so she doesn't die.、Yeah. No, foreign prime ministers got our Chinese yeah, vaccine. Yeah, so some countries' presidents、yeah. and prime ministers have been vaccinated with our Chinese vaccine. So it's really good. Other countries、oh, really want it. It's so insecure. I know. How about just saying like it's good for your health? Right. <laughs> It is very safe, and this is guaranteed. That's okay. Every email has a safe. Okay, now here's the part where you know you get these conspiracy nuts that are everywhere right now saying like, "Oh, look, it's magnetic," and they、oh、my like, gosh, you know, if you、people. get a vaccine, it, it, coins will stick to your arm or something, and they they're、Maybe、going on about like mind control and、oh、vaccine passports,、gosh. and like they're going to be able to trace where you go. Well. You conspiracy guys, your ideas about this—that's what happens in China. Look at the next. <laughs> just look at the next couple of lines. Okay, so it says、um, each vaccine has its identity card <laughs> and can be identified using the code. <laughs> Every vaccine has a unique code, so it can be traced. <laughs> it offers the best best protection. You know, the 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 reason is actually why he's going on about this is because there's such a low trust、yeah. in vaccines in China. So it's for actually for this, especially the Chinese yeah, vaccine. Yeah, they're actually talking about how the, the each vaccine has a an ID and can、yeah. be traced. So、yeah. you're not going to get a fake one. You're not、right. going to get some, which is fine. Yeah, that's that's all good. But the the point is is it does not offer the best protection. In fact, out of all the vaccines in the world, it offers the worst protection. It's、yeah. just like Chinese propaganda. They have to say things、yeah. to make them true. Right. What he says? Some people were worried, you know, obviously, to take the vaccine. They were waiting. Then it says bladder pain, fever, or normal side effects. Bladder. <laughs> I haven't、Wait. heard that one. Bladder pain and fever are normal side effects of that vaccine, apparently.、Yeah. <laughs> Why do you want me to take the jab? What's good about it? Says some like random guy in the camera here. So here's my issue with that. Let's、oh, just、yeah. play it. Let's play through it. Yeah. By, by the way,、um, that's the South China Morning Post. Yeah. Did the translation,、yeah. so that's why we're giving them a little shout. Even though they wrote a hit piece. I mean, it's not the not the publication's fault. It was the no, author no, 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 who's no. a absolute dork weasel. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway. anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, you got a see-through can. That's pretty cool. You can、I'm、see my, lov- my lovely footage of the Shanghai Bund that we have going on in、yes. the background that I shot one night there. So what、mm-hmm. I wanted to say was the problem with the whole vaccine thing is、mm. it is a good message. I think everyone should get vaccinated. Even the worst vaccines are better than nothing, right? Yeah. yeah. But to 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 elevate its status into the best vaccine, saying that everyone、mm-hmm. in the world's clamoring, yearning for our vaccine, just shows you the cringe nature of how the Chinese government works. It、yeah. needs foreign approval constantly to convince its citizens. Yeah. As yeah. much as they say we're the best country in the world and we're going to overcome everything. I again, I I want to stand on the side of Chinese people and say that you guys are better than that. You know, you、yes. don't have to use. Foreigners and the、no. outside world as a yardstick. You know, you don't need to be like, "Hey, look! If a foreigner says that it, it's good, hey, look! Foreigners want it. That means it's good. How about actually making something that is so good that you can be proud of it yourselves and just be like, 'Hey, you know what? We want it and we like it.' You know, right? Because I'll be honest with you, the people who criticize Chinese quality the most are Chinese people. Yes, they're pissed off about it. They've been ripped off by their own companies and their own producers and stuff for years. Right, and、uh, they don't trust locally made stuff. That's why they import everything.、Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, just saying. Some people say my voice cracked. Oh, did it? No. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I'm hitting puberty. Anyway, puberty.、Uh, There's another rap for you. We'll keep digging these up. Don't you worry. And that one's brand new, hot、Gadget、off the press. Gadget that, gadget that. That's、uh, a good. That's a good.、Uh, it's actually pretty, it's pretty good. It's the best one so far. Yeah, but it's just the message is infuriating. Yeah,、exactly. I wanted to love it. I wanted、yeah. to learn to love it. Yeah, exactly. But you know what? We've got for you next is something that is just hilariously predictable. Everybody knows that China landed a, a rover on Mars, right? Yes. So, this is China doing its its thing again. Let's take a look. Here we have the the NASA Jet Propulsion Labs CG clip because this is computer graphics. Obvious, you can't film. No, you can't film. I just want、this. people to know that I had literally had people on my Instagram posts,、mm-hmm. and they're like, "Oh, both of them are fake anyway." It's like <laughs> you you cannot film the entry of this thing into Mars's atmosphere because there are no cameras floating around in space. This isn't Star Trek, right? right? So 
NASA Jet Propulsion Labs created the CG simulation to show you exactly how it happened, right? And they did that in 2011. So now China is doing the same thing. So they decided we're going to make a CG representation of our, you know, lander landing down there. Let's take a look. Let's see if there are any similarities, shall we? Let's go. Yes. So that shot looks quite similar. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that hmm. looks almost the same. Wow. Wow, look at that. They slowed oh. they slowed it down a little bit, by the way, to try and fool you. But look, even the little Oh man, like okay. Every single shot, shot for shot, is the same. But the thing is it has to be made in look CG. Look at look at how the you see the planet come into view there and it shakes even in the exact same way. Right, but what's the benefit of copying this? What's the benefit here? Because it's it's they had to make their own like artifacts and stuff. Yeah, I mean, look, they added a few extra textures and things. Right, in they fact, have to do that. You know what? To be honest, the NASA one from 2011 looks better textured. Yeah, you know, well, than, than this one. Leave it, leave it to that from from 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. And then look, it's exactly the same. Yep. Look at that. Yeah, the NASA one looks better to me. <laughs> um. There's a difference. That one had little landing pods come out, little blue lasers or whatever. Uh, and It's the exact same video. It's exactly the same. Oh, you know what? That just looks like they didn't apply proper textures on like the rocket blast or whatever. Sure. Oh, never mind that. We'll get to that in a minute. But look, that whole lander thing, it's infuriating because it just shows you once again, okay, that China's not ready for this stuff, okay? I hate to say it, but look, China is not ready to do this kind of thing. Everything they're doing is a copy. Okay. Like how CCP has clowns after it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. CCP clowns. It is an exact copy. So this shows you that even the probes and everything they're sending to Mars, it's just a copy of what's been done before. It's I a guess... copy of Western technology. It's a copy of what NASA did in the past. It's nothing groundbreaking. They can't even make their own CG of the entry of this thing. So what are we going to learn? We're going to learn nothing new. No, no, that's the thing. You're, you're absolutely correct. And I yeah. think that the thing to really that I'm concerned about is that we have the whole excuse from you know the Chinese government that copying is like a good thing and we mm. improve on it and all this kind of stuff, yeah. right? We understand that that's like unashamedly part of China. Right. The problem I have with that is that did they not think that people like us are going to figure this out? I, I know. You know what I mean? Like, how are we not going to figure this out? Frame by frame. You know, it's it's just shame. It's shameful is what's what it is. The fact that they frame by frame copied NASA's footage. It's like when they used the Hollywood movie footage in their PLA, right. like in the Air Force commercial and stuff. It's just stupid, China. If you want people to take you seriously, you can't do stuff like this. You have to make your own thing. Is it that hard? I know there's tons of smart Chinese people out there who can work a computer and make computer graphics. I know some of them myself. Why did you have to copy it frame by frame? You think speed, they slowed it down slightly and that's it. Like, see, the it had to be sped up to like 1.2 times footage. But what? why not just not do this? Why not just put out the newspaper article and says, well, hey, we landed on Mars, wait for the photos. Like, why not just not make this? They even called it the same. You know, NASA called it seven yeah. minutes of terror or something. And then China, they called it, you know, seven, seven minutes, minutes of terror. terror. They, well, they just copied everything why? about it. Because they shouldn't be doing this. That's why. Why do you think they're trying to land on the moon and stuff? I understand they want to show that they're a powerful na nation. That was done in the 60s. Hello. It's a bit late to be doing stuff like this. There's no point in doing this. What is the point? Honestly, I know you want to show you're a powerful nation, but you're also claiming that you're a developing nation and taking aid from the rest of the world while sending probes to Mars. Right. And that's a dumb thing. The right. rest of the world should not be sending Same like billions of dollars yeah, in aid. aid to help poor old developing impoverished China when they're sending crap to Mars. It's the stupidest thing in the world. It's wake, like a, wake up. a rich person living in a mansion driving around a Lamborghini asking for a food money. Bank. Yeah, and asking for money from people like, hey, like I'm so poor. It's Out like, of their like, Land Rover. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, it's dumb. Anyway. So, do you mm -hmm. want to make a prediction? We, sure. tend to, we tend to get these right. Right. This one's going to be a stretch. Okay. But I'd like, I actually, I think you came up with this. Mm -hmm. What do you think's the ultimate purpose of China going to Mars? It's they, obviously for face, right? But what is it you think the ultimate Well, ob is? obviously, what they're going to do is they're going to suddenly discover something different or new oh look we found some new mineral we found some uh evidence of 
life on Mars. Or it'll be something along those lines, and there'll be no way to prove whether or not that's true, <laughs> you know? And so the only way to prove it would be to send, like, one of the NASA rovers over there to actually, like, com- right. you know, confirm that okay. whatever it is. Because China can say anything they want. They can say, oh, we found a, a hidden ancient Chinese artifact on Mars that right. belongs right. to us, you know? I We're mean, not making just, that claim. No, that's just junk. But they might but, find life, like no. microbial activity. They mm-hmm. might find something that NASA never discovered. Yeah, the, the problem with it is, is that because we have this long track history of China making things up, okay, and just claiming things and just saying, because we say it, so that's the way it is, it's going to be hard to yeah. disprove this kind of thing. Sure. By the way, while we're on the uh, subject of predictions, um, we have, because we normally call these things ahead of time, sure. we are calling this, that very soon you're going to see a lot of videos coming out from uh, the shills and the CCP sycophants and the propaganda channels about solar panels yes. and solar power yeah just just keep that out there keep, watch if you're gonna watch any of those like white youtubers that shill for the ccp mm-hmm. they're gonna be talking about solar panels soon yeah. and that's not like a loaded prediction we're just predicting that yeah. based on what we're we're getting inklings of, mm-hmm. of there being uh, accusations of yeah. solar panels uh, being made with forced labor in xinjiang yeah. so, so you can guarantee i wonder if we're going to get a, a solar energy wrap a solar energy wrap would be great, but we'll definitely get shills talking about so how solar panels being made in China is not with slave labor. We'll sure. definitely get videos sure. like that. And mark our words. Yeah. Keep your eyes out. I guarantee you'll start to see it. Absolutely. All right. So um, we've got a couple of uh, little things that we want to talk about here before we move on to the next hilarious thing. And that is, uh, you know, we have our, our little subreddit, yep. ADV. Down uh, below. Mm-hmm. Uh, link down below. It's where you guys submit memes and participate mm-hmm. and stuff. This says how everyone around me looks after I said... And laughed hysterically for the hundredth time today. Yeah, um, I love that meme because a lot of people were running around uh, quoting that rap and having no pl- no link to share for it because yeah. it's gone. It's now. gone now. It's being it's private. Gone. She she finally caught on. Too Ca- late. She finally caught caught yeah, on. Caught on. Yeah. Caught Too on. late. We actually have a copy of that, so don't you worry. It's never going. Well, away. we're not going to release it. No, we no, have. But we definitely have this. Yeah, yeah, we do. Hang on, wait for it. Okay, good. It's awesome. immortalized. It's immortalized. Uh, okay, and then we have um, Oops, the top sorry. voted meme this week was actually me, and it was something that I said I wish no one would ever make this comparison because this comparison has been made before. <laughs> I'm very not happy to see this, <laughs> <laughs> but upvotes are upvotes, mm-hmm. and you guys won with the Marilyn Manson comparison. Thank you for being a part of the subreddit. Now yes. we're going to move on to another piece of hilarious kind of China news. Oh, this is um, wonderful. So this, this guy is Eric Solheim. Not sure who he is. Oh, he is a Swedish, uh, uh, something to do with the Swedish uh, Green Party. Okay. And uh, definitely environmentally related, and he gets money, they get money from China for Green Deal stuff. Oh, is that what it is? Well, he's a blue check mark on Twitter, so he must be important. Um, And he released this tweet that says, this is incredible. China is testing its new autonomous electric train (laughs) that does not need traditional tracks. It runs on a virtual track, can go everywhere. Okay, sounds sounds interesting. What's the first reply? <laughs> Says motherfucker, that's a bendy bus. <laughs> All right. And guess what? It is. It is. Okay. Look here, we actually have the video of the um of the article. What they've got is they're showing this uh, testing of this. What is it? The the train. It's a bus. It's a train that runs on virtual tracks. Okay. What's hang the on. Tr- what's what Says, is uh what what is the track? Oh, is it wheels? <laughs> yeah, is it rubber tires? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it says China tests a newly developed smart electric train in frigid Norwegian. Winter. I'm sorry, not Swedish Norwegian. So, yeah. Now it's you. You're mixing that. I'm up. sorry. Okay. They're neighboring countries. You I mix up Switzerland and Sweden. They're they not both, even close. Uh, uh, they both start with an S W. Yeah, guess what? Nor- Norway and Sweden almost speak the same language. But guess what? It's N and an S. It's not a similar sounding name. So I've been to both countries. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's continue. <laughs> you failed. It runs on a virtual track. Okay, for everyone who's watching, well, listening at, at home or whatever, th- this is literally just a big bendy bus that's shaped like a train a little bit. It says the test checks if the train and track can run smoothly in freezing cold. What track? There's no track. It's, it's a, road. a road. Yeah. And there, you can see the tires of the bus on the on the ground there, right? It's just tires. I love it. It's got a steering wheel like a traditional bus as well. <laughs> Look, it's just a bus. It's okay. just a bus. Yeah. I like the design of the bus. That reminds me of those like cups, those disposable cups, those wavy. <laughs> oh, yes, it does. Thing. I mean, yeah, it's self-driving. But what, what's this like virtual track thing? Are you saying painted lines on the road? It's a virtual track. It's a bus. It's just a it's bus. It's just a bus. It's a bendy bus. Yeah, it is. 
So um, <laughs> there is some hilarious reactions. To yeah, you just world. wait. You just wait for this. They're like the trackless train was first launched in May 2018. This is in China. Uh, trial operations of the train will start in other southern China, cities in China soon. Um, okay, so Chen Weihua, Chen Weihua, Wei which is that's the fucking mask guy. Okay, he he is the China Daily correspondent. Yeah, dude exactly. For uh, China State Affiliated Media. It says it's great for the environment. Paranoid U.S. politicians would say it's a national security threat. Um, somebody said a national security threat. How many social points are you getting writing this drivel? Another person said, we have buses here too, man. Yeah. Someone else <laughs> it's said, it's a bus. Then someone posted a picture of a cruise line and said, that's nothing. Uh, P&O have a train that can go on water. <laughs> Rule Britannia. <laughs> okay. It, it gets better, though. It um, does. Yeah, let me fast forward a little bit here. Okay. We've got, yeah. Someone uh, here said, train? You mean bus? We've had these in Malmo, Sweden since 2014. They're not something new. And... Yes, if you look at the, the Swedish bus, it looks almost exactly like the Chinese I've been on one, one of those, actually. Oh, you've been on yeah. one? Okay, really? That's interesting. Not that, not that specific one. I mean, you've, looked... you've never been on a bendy bus before? I have. I it's have. the same thing, right? Yeah. Someone else is like, <laughs> and this is a bus in uh, Trondheim, Trondheim, Norway. Yeah. Norway. These have been used for two years and does not pretend they are anything <laughs> more than a bus. <laughs> they will run fully on biofuel and the drivers are are thought well and not programmed or taught well maybe taught, yeah. yeah what's next eric boats that don't need water planes on land your wish is my command mm -hmm. well yeah well, well, well. okay it says it's like a boat but it runs on special <laughs> water tracks <laughs> someone's posting a picture of you know like barges on the canal or whatever in in the uk <laughs> um the, yeah and then there's a this, this guy, meme, this yeah. guy is awesome he's yeah. like one of the biggest tiktokers but he just always points out people's stupid life hacks like yeah. somebody will make some contraption to pour something and he'll just be like yeah. drinking out of it exactly it's, it's like it's a bus <laughs> what else do we have next here um <laughs> there's a there's a bus in traffic in the uk somewhere it says choo choo i'm a train on the top of it you know what i mean <laughs> I, I love it when people run with this kind of I thing. Know, it's <laughs> yeah, there's another one. <laughs> Rail replacement. I'm a train. Choo choo. <laughs> you know? Oh, I just love that the wolf wankers, their gut instinct was to be like, yeah, haters going to hate. You yeah, know? And people yeah. are like, dude, it's just a bus. It's a bus. It's not some like special autonomous electric train or something like that. It's a bus. It, it's just a bus. Anyway, uh, before we get into our main segment where we're going to talk about these pretty girls, I know you guys are waiting for the pretty girls. They're coming. Don't worry. Um, Such a lame way to sell it. We're, well, we're so shameless. It's No, but it's true, though. It is true. They are pretty um, girls. They are pretty. We are going to answer some super chats. But first, there was a Larry Hernandez wanted to say sorry for missing your super chat. Last week. Um, dug it up. Spent a lot of time figuring this out. You know... Uh, YouTube's system is a bit janky sometimes, yeah. and we've we lost figured a it couple, out. Though. But uh, yeah, uh, Akosha says hi. Another great podcast. I had a super chat last week, but I guess you guys didn't get to read. If you're we wondering uh, if my donation went through, I hope it did. Well, enjoy. If you guys have a chance to watch A Man from Nowhere on Prime, thank you. Thank we you got again. This one. Yeah, appreciate we it. really appreciate it. And sorry, we did we did lose a bunch. Yeah, last time, but mm. we we're good. Now. We're going to make we, sure that we doesn't actually know how, how yeah, it works yeah. now. So, Eric Rodriguez, you said thank you. Uh, beer money for Winston. Thank you. Not for me, apparently. Uh, LNR yeah, says, <laughs> <just joking. laughs> uh, says smash fascio communism, and that's exactly what China really is, to be honest. And I agree, smash fascio communism. Sure. Sure. Um, and we'll do one more from this. Uh, Eric Pecia Pacheco says, You guys are cool. Thank and you. Cotton. And cotton. 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 Oh, yeah, where is that? Let me do it again. Eh. Cotton. Uh, cotton says, Love the show, guys. By the way, I've started to see a lot of videos in Hindi from China talking about the. Uh, Aid celebration and Muslims in China. I think it's targeting the audience in South Asia. It certainly it is. Certainly is. Antonio yeah. Cardena says, "Hail, keep up the good work." Mm. And Eleanor says, "Capitalism is the fullest expression of anarchism, and anarchism is the fullest expression of capitalism." Murray Rothbard, Smash Fascio Communism. Okay. And one happy birthday here. Okay. Sean Wayland, thanks for making my birthday today uh, a special one. Keep up the excellent work. Uh, looking forward to when you go on Tim Pool. Thank you very much, and happy hey, birthday, Sean. Happy birthday, Sean. Excellent. All right, guys, now we're going to get on to our main segment, which, of course, is Soft Power Hour. Talk about how China's trying to change your mind, usually through coercion. <laughs> Keep it's very subtle coercion, but it's coercion. P. 
pay very close attention to the details in here because this is one of those situations that started out as like, oh, lol, we found some propaganda to holy shit, we've uncovered something big. Absolutely, yeah. So first of all, uh, someone on the subreddit started posting and saying, hey, look, I'm getting this weird propaganda popping up on your videos, on, on your videos. Yeah, it was, on, it was only on one video. Yeah, on your one first. video. It was on rapper. my Chinese rapper video, and it was mostly about the Xinjiang rap. It was cotton. Yeah, it was you, making you fun doing, of cotton. making fun of the cotton rap. Okay. So this ad, so what you guys understand is when you're on YouTube, when you click a video, it'll play an ad sometimes. Right. This is not just a random video. This is a video playing as an ad specifically on my content, probably yours too. Yes. And what happens is, mine too, yeah. yeah, it plays in the beginning while you're watching someone's video and they yeah. can, through Google AdWords, what you can do is actually target specific videos. Yeah, you can say, I want my adverts to appear on Lao86's yes. video or just his channel. Yeah. Or on this person's specific video because or it's their related channel, yeah. to what I do. So when this came up, we looked at this and we said, you know what? This is very much in line with the bullshit that they've been doing. So I did a huge expose a couple months ago where I found thousands upon thousands of videos yeah. that were these kind of forced confessions mm. from Uyghurs in Xinjiang, you know, the yeah. people that are suspected to be in the concentration camps mm -hmm. that China's putting them in. Yeah, right? the suppressed minority. The suppressed I mean, minority. Whether they're being concentration camp, genocide or whatever, they're at least mm, very suppressed, very, <laughs> yes. very watched, surveilled, and right. told what they can and can't do, sure. and they are under duress. Yes. Yeah. Um, so long story short, when I did the expose on those videos, I noticed a common thread that everyone on these videos is yelling at Mike Pompeo. Sure, sure. And it was China's whole combating uh, that there's forced labor, that mm -hmm. there's genocide, that there's concentration camps. What they did was they sent out a government mandate, and this has been proven now by the Associated Press just today, Yeah, that there was a government mandate to go to a city called Karame. And that all the, the videos came out of the city called Karame, Karame yeah. in Xinjiang. What they did was they set out a mandate, and they said, CCP officials, go out there and find good Mandarin-speaking Uyghur people yeah. and make them read a script. And the script would say, we are so mad at Mike Pompeo. We don't have genocide. There is no forced labor blah 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 yeah. they were so scarily they pumped out thousands of these overnight yeah right and it was out of nowhere sure. out of nowhere and winston and i saw these and we immediately knew what the purpose was absolutely but something that people failed to see was that you're not allowed to have a vpn to go on youtube no Weaker people have no idea who mike pompeo some is. some old grandpa in xinjiang right. isn't going to know who Mike Pompeo is no. at all. He, you're not allowed to read news about Mike Pompeo and what he said about Xinjiang yeah. anyway. Yeah. And as we're going to show you later, you will be tried mm -hmm. as a second degree terrorist mm -hmm. if you even have a VPN to go, to go on, on there and spread any kind of news or anything. So yeah. what this was, was a bunch of CCP officials, Han people, to go out there and wrangle a bunch of thousands of these Uyghurs to go do forced, not confessions, but forced... Uh, like fluff pieces, fluff to, pieces say, for the to say, oh, there's nothing wrong here. Everything's fine. We have a great life. Right. And why do they always have to show them dancing? This really annoys because me. Because Chinese people, and I hate this, this is a criticism on Chinese society as a byproduct of the CCP. Sure. They've made a zoo out of ethnic minorities. Yeah. That's how Han people, and unfortunately not all Han people, but sure. Han people are taught by the Chinese government that other ethnic minorities are lucky mm. to be Chinese. Sure. And they basically treat them as a zoo animals. They go there, they wear their traditional outfits, they pretend like they're dancing around and stuff. Yeah, they set up like these, we've seen it a, a million times when you go to a place like Zen, what was that place you went? Zen, Zen what was it called again? With the fake bricks everywhere. You liked it, and we drove. Oh, there. in was, in Guizhou. What's uh, it called again? It's not Zhenchang. That's no. somewhere else. It was Jinyuan. Uh, Jinyuan. Jinyuan. Yeah. So anyway, you go to a place like that, and it's set up as a whatever minority uh, tourist attraction area, basically. So you go to this town, and they'll deck it out nicely, nice from far, but far from nice. Because when you get close, you'll see they've painted bricks on the walls. Yeah. You know, or use brick wallpaper. It's all fake. It's, Everything's been bulldozed by the CCP it, anyway. All the local people wear like these. Bought off Taobao, very yeah. badly made costumes, basically. And people go there. Show. And then you go there as a tourist and you can also like buy their ethnic clothing and walk around there. And you go watch them do ethnic stuff. And it's like an MP3 player yeah. that they're playing like some... We heard them play Native like American music. Native American music, music yeah. and stuff like that. Just absolutely random because stuff. Because there is no respect for the ethnic no, minority culture. It's just a tourist thing. It's anyway, a tourist thing. Anyway. 
the thing is you always see them showing like dancing Uyghurs and I was thinking to myself is there not any other way to show that people oh, are there's happy tons. there's tons is it o- can they only show dancing because Uyghurs that's, that's what happens with these mandates yeah they get told the CCP guys in Beijing get told this is what Uyghurs do and this is this is how we'll run our propaganda campaigns yeah. as you guys will see later we got a bombshell yeah, yeah. but anyway long story short yeah. that was the infancy of this yeah so and it so, morphed into this yeah so we went to go check out their channel, okay, because it's very slick, and we thought... This well, explain is... what the new breed of this propaganda is. Okay, it's very, very simple. Let's, let's move on. You, we'll, we'll actually just show you a, the advert in the background. It's sure. It's not in its entirety, I don't think, but um, basically it's very well shot, and here we see two pretty girls, and there's, this is the one elder sister and the younger sister. They're not sisters, They're not by related. the way. But They're not even in, the same it, ethnicity. The thing is, in China, in China, you can say, that's my sister. Yeah, it just means thing. like my good friend. Right. Or it could also be like your cousin. I know my wife calls her cousin her sister. Yeah, me too. Um, anyway, I want us to focus on this. It goes to very slick. So this um, is the ad that plays shots. on our videos. Yeah, th- th- this is like all very, it looks like stock footage, but it's it's state stuff that's been shot, obviously. You can see it's incredibly slick and high budget, um, showing all these like ethnic minority foods and people playing instruments and, you know, that kind of thing. Um so you can tell that this is straight up propaganda. And if not propaganda, at the very least, it's like a travel. It's, it's propaganda. It's, it's propaganda. But like, <laughs> let's just, in the, the greatest, greatest benefit of the doubt, just by looking at it first, is like maybe it's like a, a tourism agency or something right. doing this, right? But now we've got to pay People attention. are saying in the live chat, I've seen this video on your video. Yeah, I've seen exactly. Yeah. So also, if we look a little closer, we can see what's actually being said. Yes. It says, people here are living and working in peace. Besides, we are especially hospitable. Okay, whatever. That's they fun. love to show the food on the yeah. table thing. That that's yeah. been a, a now. Here's where it gets interesting. I know some people are trying to blacken Xinjiang's reputation. Okay, so this is interesting. Yeah. Now this word blacken to hey something. If I say hey hey Zhongguo and hey yeah. Zhongguo, it means to blacken China. They, that, they accuse us of hey Zhongguo all the right. time. What that actually means is to tarnish something. Yes. Right. Smear it. it. To smear it, as they say. Yes, That's another. Smear it, this, tarnish, blacken. This is very much in the Wu Mao playbook words. Yeah. Right? So, what this whole actual propaganda piece about Xinjiang mm. is, is to combat anything that's being said about Xinjiang. Anything bad. The funny thing is, is what mm-hmm. they've done is typical China victim mentality. Yeah. The people that are claiming that there's genocide and forced labor and all these kind of horrible things, yeah. which is actually happening in Xinjiang, they don't say that. What they say is, they're trying to smear or blacken Xinjiang's reputation in that yeah. they say Xinjiang is a bad place. And meanwhile, no one's saying that. No, no, no. The no victims are the it. Xinjiang people. Correct, correct. Anyway, the thing is, here we go. Uh, people are trying to blacken Xinjiang's reputation. Um, so, you are welcome to visit Xinjiang yourselves. No, uh, no, you're not. You're not. First of all, an international traveler going to China right now is pretty much impossible because of the, the vaccine requirements and the lockdowns. And you have to have the China vaccine, even if you have Pfizer or something superior to the Sinovac. And it is superior. I'm going to say that because testing has shown it's uh, superior. Much, much, much superior. You won't be allowed in unless you've got the Sinovac as well, first of all. Second of all, you've got that stupid 14 or 21 day waiting thing that you have to do in a hotel. They haven't allowed foreigners in any way, you know? No. So you can't go there by yourself. And even if you got into China to go to Xinjiang, you need to have a minder to look and see where you go. If you're just a foreigner, if you're you outside just, of the main cities, yeah, yeah. You can go to like, you've seen Arumchi, a couple of the yeah. shills go to Rumchi or something and sit in a, in a square, right. in the public tourist square, but try walk out of there, you're yeah, going to have mean, issues. We have all the coordinates of the mm. genocide camps, yeah. right? We know where the stuff is happening. You can't go and see no. what you want to see. It's not possible. So this is just a fallacy right here. So right. Uh, come and see Xinjiang by yourself. And it just shows a bunch of like pretty, you know, nice scenery and nice places to go. Um, yeah, your own real experience will scorch you. So this is this was a, a mainstay of the Chinese propaganda for Xinjiang. We've seen it in the wraps. We've yeah. seen it in everything. It's buy a ticket, come see for yourself. Yeah, see You've for yourself. never been here. Come here. Come see it. That's yeah. their thing. Dude, it's like somebody says, oh, you know, 
you, you say, you stole my TV, right? Yeah. And the guy's like, oh, yeah, well, why don't you come into my house and check? Come on, check. But you know, inside his house, he's got like rabid Dobermans that are running around. And, you know, you just know it's not possible. But that's his defense. It's like, oh, yeah, well, why didn't you come and look then? Meanwhile, he's like a menacing guy with Dobermans and he's got a gun in his hand and stuff and saying like, why don't you come see, you know? Yeah, and you try to exactly go there and it's got it razor wire blocking it off. Sure. You're like, dude, I want to come in and see. He's like, yeah, come in and see. But there's like a razor wire minefield that you just can't right. get, get past. That's so exactly what it it's, is. It's ridiculous. Anyway, um, so, you know, obviously we've got the obligatory dancing stuff because that's what happy uh, Xinjiang people I mean, do. this is all set up for, yeah, for the exactly. camera here. So there's an old saying. Did you know oh, there's an oh, old Chinese yeah. saying, Winston? Yeah, yeah, I love that. We we can't skip this part, sorry, because this is kind of a recurring thing. It says, she says, China has an old saying, okay? You yeah. know, which is, let's get for it, facts speak louder than words. What you're going to find out is later on, three or four different times, she says, China has an old saying, seeing is believing. Yes. China has an old saying. Hearing is deceiving and seeing is believing. She keeps changing it yeah. over and over again. China has an old saying. I'll be honest with you, though. Seeing is believing, I don't think comes from an old Chinese proverb, if Facts I'm totally honest. Facts speak louder than words is not a Ch old Chinese saying no. anyway. That's like a, So she's being fed this stuff. Yeah, this is whatever. all propaganda department. So this is where it gets interesting. Yeah. So we, we watched this ad, yes. right? You can get to the next slide after this. You guys understand. Okay, actually, Welcome we've got to go Xinjiang. just before it, right? Yeah. I think... This ad pops up. So we go watch this advert that's being played on our videos, and we're like, what is this crap? Right. Um, we go take a look. If you look at the About page of their YouTube channel, they started in February of 2020. They only started putting out videos in April. Yeah, okay. so it's only actually one month old. Yeah, it's a one this month old. Channel. This channel this is a month old. organic channel. Mm -hmm. So what we figured out was, it was very easy to figure out, China's new approach, because we I did the expose and a lot of other news outlets ran and saw all this other Xinjiang propaganda, this forced confession type things. Yeah. What if they get a girl to go vlog? Yeah. Like, I'm just a makeup vlogger. I'm just a whatever. Like, mm -hmm. and have this organic looking vlog. And yeah. we noticed this was fitting that bill. I also want you to pay attention that they've set their location as Hong Kong. Okay, yeah. there's a reason for this. And I learned this the hard way. If you set your location as China, you cannot monetize your videos. Yeah. Because um, China doesn't allow YouTube inside of China. Right. So Google can't allow, would do business there, right? right? So you just can't. If you are a Chinese citizen, uh, and you try to set up a YouTube channel because oh, it's blocked it's anyway. It's illegal to it's do illegal, so. It's illegal, but yeah. yeah. If you try to choose China as your location, you will not be able to become a partner, YouTube partner. You can't make money off your videos. But if you select Hong Kong, because Hong Kong is still kind of a free place. Kind of. Uh, kind of a free place. Um, it's not and it's banned. got yeah, it's, it's not dead yet. But, you know, and it's got uh, international money coming in there. You can do international bank transfers, everything. It's all okay, right? Yeah. Uh, you can monetize your videos and become a partner. So these... Um, very genuine Xinjiang people over here have set up their uh, account as a Hong Kong based one because otherwise they wouldn't be able to make money off of their propaganda. You're absolutely correct. So this mm -hmm. is where the rabbit hole started. Mm -hmm. Now you go through their ad and we're like, I, I, get, I got a little pissed off, I'm totally honest. This is what I said. Mm -hmm. I got on Twitter and I didn't, I didn't tweet at them. No, this is just, you just basically- yeah, I didn't even say this happened on my channel. I just yeah. wanted to spread awareness. I yeah. said, Listen, horrifying. The amount of propaganda that's being spread by the CCP right now in Xinjiang is insane. They're creating Google AdWords campaigns to deny genocide, signal boost CCP propaganda, and flood the internet with this narrative in order to wash away opposition. So I just wanted people to go out there and see it. I didn't at them. I didn't do anything. I just wanted to say, listen, keep your eyes out yeah. for, for this Xinjiang genocide denial propaganda. Because yeah. to me, it is horrifying. It's disgusting to see that on a well, free platform. And if it was just all about like, hey, look Travel at our food or whatever, and whatever, yeah. that's different. But in even in their channel ad, they go into this like, some people are blackening. We're going right. to show you the real thing. And you come and see for yourself. It's very blatant that this is propaganda. It, it gets really on the nose. It really gets on yeah, the Yeah, I mean, we'll this is where they, they've embarrassed yeah. themselves. Okay, so continue. Oh, so, so she so, says, what does she yeah. say? She says, promoting my hometown of Xinjiang on social media is my personal interest and has nothing to do with any organization. I hope that through my video, I can show a real Xinjiang, not the Xinjiang rumored by some media. Finally, I want to say there is no genocide in hashtag Xinjiang. So this is when it became a war and not a war against her, a no. war against disinformation because yeah. this is where they showed their true colors, not her. The organization that's behind her, which is the Chinese government. So this is this is the problem. This is the first problem. We contacted Uyghur people. Yeah. Right. Like I said in the beginning, it is a second degree terrorist offense to use a VPN yeah. and to upload videos on YouTube with yeah, a VPN. If to, you're a Uyghur. She claims yeah. to be a Uyghur. 
Okay. okay. I have to say that she doesn't look ethnically Uyghur. Sure, but just, we're not we're not we're, here to make. You that don't claim. know if you, I mean I've I've got what what is it two zero point two percent like sub-Saharan African. I think you got like two or three percent. Whatever it is, yeah. like good so, chunk. You know, I I could say I'm an African black dude. Right, but you don't because it's outlandish. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> I, I just wanted to put that out there that a sure. lot of these girls that are doing this uh, Xinjiang stuff, they do look ethnically Han. And I'm not saying she's not ethnically Uyghur because she could be. She could be, you yeah. know, she could be a, a mix or whatever. It doesn't it's that's neither here nor there. If she is, because she claims to be, right? Yeah. Then the punishment is second degree terrorism offense, which can be punished with the worst possible thing you can imagine, by the way. Mm -hmm. A terrorism offense for her to upload these videos. So. If it's not, because I would understand if it's the government giving her a free pass to do so. Sure. But guess what? She claims it's her personal interest to do yes, so. Yes. So here we go with the first line. Number two, well, no one said anything about genocide. Here, no. Right? No, we didn't mention genocide at all. It was just, you were just pissed off that they're using your, propaganda. your videos as, uh, as an advertising platform. She says, so, so this is what happened yeah. next. I said, okay, mm -hmm. fair game. I'm going to actually tweet at her. Yeah. Why are you and your Chinese government employers paying for massive ad campaigns on my YouTube channel? Tell your government minders that it's pretty embarrassing to create an entire channel to wait and waste enormous amounts of money to cover up a genocide. Okay? Yeah. And what did she say? She said, how to advertise is my freedom. It's none of your business. And I will continue to do this so that everyone can recognize your lies. If you are unconvinced, you can go to Google AdSense. Hashtag Xinjiang. Hashtag I don't know what that means. Yes, I can go to Google AdSense. What do you want me to do about it? Wait, but what are your lies? I'm, I'm not quite sure. I guess the only claim that I've made so far is that you're advertising on my videos using AdWords campaigns, and you are backed by the CCP. Mm -hmm. Those are all empirically true. Yeah. Right? Where's, where's the lie? Yeah, where's the lie? Where's the lie? Where it's, she probably thinks that we're making lots of, like genocide stuff um so then she keeps going yeah this is where she launched to Go show ahead. the world that uh to show the world a hashtag I, real by the way Xinjiang. this is this needs to be set up yeah i hadn't tweeted at her yet she she's the one that went on the attack and grabbed all these screenshots yeah, that's true. Right. So, Good. Yeah. so go ahead. <clears throat> Is our common wish of 25 million Xinjiang people, hashtag, oh, well, like, Lao 86 serpents a day. Have you ever been to Xinjiang? I suggest you come to Xinjiang and learn <laughs> See, a real situation, then express your opinion. Don't judge things with your imagination. Just like you're imagining. <laughs> These yeah. imagination, come to Ch Xinjiang. There's mm -hmm. no genocide. It's this playbook over and over again. Yeah, here's the thing. I started to do a little bit of digging. Yes. Okay. And that's just this because I was getting good. very annoyed by this, okay? And um, I found out that they are being followed by one of our favorite wolf wanker, you know, turd warriors. Everybody knows our porn following, what's his name? Gay Lijin porn Jiao, following Zhao Li Jin. Zhao Li Jin, can call him whatever you want. Yeah, anyway, he is the foreign ministry spokesperson for China. The, the top. top. The top and the top. So we're talking, Winston and I are nose to nose with the top central government of China right now. Yeah. He followed them. Now, okay, people will say, oh, he follows a lot of people. Don't worry, we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. I said, uh, pretty obvious when you have pretty girls dedicated to genocide and human rights atrocity denial that are being backed by the CCP, advertising on Google on our videos and are followed by the Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson on Twitter. It is. It's just very simple. You can see right through this. First of all, being able to use a VPN and use YouTube and stuff in China is not allowed by Chinese citizens. No. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, they can get a VPN. You're not allowed to have a VPN. No. People have been arrested and there are plenty of we have cases. have evidence of that yeah, here. But not, we're not just talking about Uyghurs no, no, or anyone. Xinjiang people. But that's particularly yeah, bad. Yeah, that's particularly bad. I mean, they have to have apps installed on their phones to track where they're going and stuff. Okay, look, the Chinese government does not want Uyghurs to be going online and making YouTube videos because no. who knows what they might say, right. right? Unless it's completely controlled by the government. Anyway, Normal Chinese citizens cannot use a VPN and go and do this kind of thing. And there are and have been arrests of people who've been using VPNs or who have been selling VPNs or whatever. And there's tons of those. Okay, right, so that's the sure. first big, big red flag. Right. They shouldn't be on YouTube. Number two, they shouldn't be paying to advertise on channels like ours no it's okay. immoral by the way to youtube you should yeah. probably get on board with the whole fact that like most developed countries have declared this a genocide yeah. now well the fact that in their videos and you can see in her tweets and stuff there is no genocide in xinjiang is their main message that's yes. the reason that's why it was created yeah the reason for these videos is to say xinjiang is great and amazing by the way there is no genocide by the way there's no forced labor by the way Everything the West says about it is false. By the way, it's only there for that message. Yep. Okay, that's the whole reason. And it's slick. 
Yeah. Because they've upped their propaganda game. It's We've, slick. We keep teaching them how to get better. Yeah. Okay. And here's the final nail in the coffin. The foreign ministry spokesperson interacts with them. So that shows the top level of government knows about them, yeah, go to deals the next with picture. them. Okay. Because it's pretty obvious if we look at our next little picture here that, um, you know, Jolly Jin retweeted one of their videos. And, and they thanked them. Yeah. Thank them. So story of Xinjiang by Guli says, thank you to the spokesman Jolly Jin for reposting our video. Hashtag Xinjiang. So it's not this case of, oh, Jolly oh. Jian just follows tons of people. He acknowledged them. He retweeted their oh, I'm just a poor weaker video. girl. Yeah. It's this victim shit. Yeah. Wait till you see this victim shit that they pull. Oh, so man. who's Jolly Jian? Go to the next slide so you guys can remember. Oh, just, yeah. just so you can jog your memory real quick. Yeah, let's take the a look. Jolly Jian, who is the Chinese politician and deputy, deputy director of the Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs Information Department, retweeted. So we're talking about... It's like if I got tweeted out by the vice president or someone in the top cabinet. Yeah, right? absolutely. About like some propaganda thing that I did. Yeah. Right. It makes no sense. That doesn't happen. No. Right. So we have Zhao Li Jian who is partic actively participating with their content. So where's the little girl narrative? Well, yeah. you brought that up. Okay. Because she she said, um, where was it? Oh, we're gonna get to that in a second. She actually said, "What are you afraid of?" Um, when I pointed that out, she basically yeah, said, yeah. "Every Chinese person yeah. is gonna support us. What are you afraid of? That we're gonna expose your lies?" She was trying to say that Zhao Li Jin's an average normal Chinese normal person. normal Chinese person yeah. who it's because I, when I pointed that, that out, I said, "Afraid? Afraid of what?" CCP propagandists posting on a platform banned and forbidden by their own government in their own country. Nope, just curious as to why you're not ashamed of what you're doing, willfully being a tool used to whitewash the awful things your government is doing. And that's absolutely correct. Yeah. Right? Well, let's see what happened. Well, you actually, <laughs> our, our good friend uh, Li Jingjing, who, by the way, uh, you're going to learn about her in the future. We'd like to say thank you to her for actually speaking up here because you've kind of confirmed exactly she's what a, we thought. She's the common denominator. She works for CGTN. She's a CGTN uh, employee and reporter, and she does all sorts of things. They also try to um, paint her as being sort of one of these, um, what would you call it, like um, personal vlogger type things? What would you say, like completely disconnected? Like, oh, I'm just a, a vlogger girl yeah. going around. Meanwhile, she's a, an employee of CGTN. And she works for them doing propaganda stuff, speaking to uh, Uyghurs and yeah, like like, that. like saying you're not forced. genocided, are you? You're <laughs> she, not forced she, labor. If you watch some of the stuff she's done, it's pretty awful. But she's tied to all of the shills. Every one of them. All the all the uh, white monkey shills that are in China right now that are doing these kind of you know like the West is bad. Look how great. There's China no is. genocide. They're all connected to her. There's yep. photographs of her with yep. all of them. Um, she's like their wrangler you know she's the one that goes on the trips with them and translates yep. into english for them because they can't speak chinese properly yeah she's the one that organizes everything anyway she's the one who uh jumped not, to her aid yeah jumped to her immediately aid, you know? yeah. oh so you're not connected so this oh i'm just a poor uyghur girl how mm -hmm. dare you she tried to play this whole thing on twitter she's like winston and seamilk what they're doing is attacking me and slandering a Actually, poor uyghur girl and then know, their little sycophants ran to their yeah their, absolutely you know, here's the thing, guys. You, it might look like we're being petty and we're going after this poor girl here in all these tweets and stuff. But this actually happened after she released the video. Yes. Okay. You have to understand that she released a video with our names in it and pictures of our tweet. The original tweet where we were asking why she was advertising. Yeah. I'm on, just asking why. Yeah. Why are you advertising on she my video? She released videos? a video, which we're going to play for you in a second. Right. And then all this tweet stuff happened. Sure. So just bear that in mind. We didn't go out there and start like calling no. her out. No, 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 no. Okay. So we just thought it was interesting that first Zhao Li Jian has tweeted her out. Oh, yeah. but I have nothing to do with an organization. I'm just a poor weaker Xinjiang girl that wants to show my hometown. Yeah, it's so great. So that's why the top government state ministry tweeted you out. Number two, mm -hmm. now you have uh, Li Jingjing, who is literally part of the CGTM propaganda department that's yeah, who putting deals out all with this. all of these other big right. propagandists and shills. She's there. She's she's the common denominator that ties them all together. And then lo and behold, look who we have here. One of the white monkey shills. Mm, what does he say? He made a stupid mistake yeah. here, guys. Says it's very easy and cheap to advertise on your videos. Even I have done it in the early days. It's nothing special and certainly don't need big budgets. So, I mean, I just said to him, uh, You're, you advertise on my videos too? Lol, no, this isn't small-time Barrett the Bell End budget here. <laughs> the amount and frequency of the adverts means a lot of money was pumped into it. Why do you propagandists have to advertise on my videos anyway? 
You know, that's the thing. Like, how about just growing your We're stuff We're not advertising on any, any channels. I've never advertised no. ever. How about you make content? Yeah, exactly. So anyway, we've, they all ran to the aid of this. Because the dumb thing is, is that, yeah, we can laugh at this and say, oh, this stupid bullshit that China's doing, this Xinjiang propaganda stuff. But look at what happens when any sort of questions are posed to them. All the shills and all, all of the propaganda, the, the central government runs to yeah. the aid of these people yeah. because they don't want to lose their investment, right? This no. is an investment. and it They're is. losing a, a war right now, a war of words with the West right now, yeah. who is, has empirical evidence of cultural genocide in Xinjiang. Yes. Now, right? here's, here's the video that sparked off this little this bit of Twitter spat, okay? So we wanted to play it, and we have to pay attention to this because it's, it's very important what's going on here. So let's first of all play a little bit of it for you from all over the world uh, know a real Xinjiang. We uh, joined uh, Twitter and YouTube in April this uh, this year. Uh, first of all, we would like to say... Uh, um, sorry, I just want everyone to pay attention to the fact that um, she's putting her hair in a ponytail. Okay, yeah, that might not seem important, but it's actually very important. It's all part of this, I'm fake vlogging right now, but actually I'm working for this yeah. today. <laughs> yeah. Thank you to so all see. fans who follow us on uh, the YouTube and Twitter. Okay, now you are now going out there and basically saying, oh, we've joined YouTube and Twitter and thanks for everyone for following us. Remember, YouTube and Twitter are blocked and banned in China. And as a Chinese citizen, you are not allowed to use a VPN to go and participate. Maybe you can go look at it and get away with it. But to go and actually create content and post on Twitter and post on YouTube is not something you're allowed to do, especially if you're a Uyghur and especially if you're in Xinjiang. All right. That is a fact. And we've we have Uyghurs that prove that triple confirmed this right. from multiple Uyghur sources yesterday. And we will show you something later yeah. anyway. Anyway, here's let's see what happens next. And how about my ponytail? And how about my ponytail? <laughs> Sorry, we slowed that last part down. There's a reason well, for that. It's just so out of No. This place. is this is why this is where they're they're smart, okay? Yes. See how she's trying to be all cute, giving eyes to the camera and stuff? They are on purpose getting young, attractive women yes. to do this propaganda. And the reason is White knights. We've seen okay? it. Okay. White knights are going to double over backwards to try and defend these girls. Right. You're not getting one little sliver of that whisker biscuit, I'm afraid <laughs> to say. All right. Guys, <laughs> you stupid morons. You know how many people jump to their defense? Oh, oh we oh, saw how, it. How could, you, how could you say anything bad about these poor little girls? You'd, be, you'd, have, a better, you'd have a better opportunity if you would, if you would uh, shill and white knight for the, the women that are going into the concentration camps than these C literally CCP stooges. I know. This is what this is. You're defending the Communist Party of China's genocide in Xinjiang because yeah. you want to defend a girl that's pretending to be not state apparatus. Yeah, yeah. Come on, guys. I mean, here's the thing. It's but very it's smart. It, look, it's very effective. It's very smart because when you get young, attractive girls to um, speak for a cause, you'll get a lot of sort of stupid guys, desperate guys who follow them or just, you know, yeah. guys, normal guys who are just a little clueless and like, oh, what a cute girl. Oh, look, she's got a message that she has to say. I think I'll listen to her message because she's really cute. Oh, look, she's got a cute ponytail. You a know? crumb of wool, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> me lady. A strand of wool. A strand of wool, me lady. <laughs> anyway, please. whatever. This is what's effective. Okay. <laughs> yes. You could have... Simps. You could have a, a man on here like being all like, you, you know, I'm going to show you the real Xinjiang. Right. And people be like, eh, whatever. You get a cute or pretty girls going on like, oh, I want to show you, you know, like, look, oh, and I got a ponytail. Oh, let me do some makeup while I'm at it. You know, that kind of thing. And you get the simp army. It's so the simp army. They now have... It's the tankies and simps. Yeah. Tankies, simps, CCP sycophants are all going to back her up. So we want to point that out. That's why this... Ponytail thing is important, okay? <laughs> and it's been a month since we joined. Oh, what are you doing? Some makeup? Uh, no, she's not even doing anything with it. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. YouTube. I promise and this I, is about us, guys. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, learn a lot, and also I change a lot of uh, views. And I used to think that uh, some foreign media and people they uh, biased against uh, Xinjiang because they didn't really understand. See, it's a, it's a straw man. Yeah. Let's point out the straw man. No one is biased against Xinjiang. No. This is this false narrative they've created. People are criticizing what the Han government is doing in Xinjiang to the Uyghur people. Yeah. Slave labor and genocide. 
No one is biased against. No one thinks Xinjiang is a bad place. If anyone's biased against Xinjiang, it's, it's the Chinese, the Chinese government. government. Yeah, right. Um, okay. But see, they've created an argument in people's minds that they didn't have previous. Yeah, let's show some happy dancing. Of course, you gotta show. Xinjiang. You gotta show the happy um, dancing. But now I find out that uh, that is not the case. They're just like pretending to. Uh, they don't understand. There is a saying: is uh, you cannot wake up a person she uh, who. She does, and unfortunately, she always credits it to an old Chinese saying, but this time she didn't. She just said there's a saying. So that's more accurate. I, yeah. I give her props for that. Pretends to be asleep, and it's these people. And when we show the world uh, of our... Re now, uh, there's another thing I do want to point out here, is that she's very purposefully turning around to show her house, okay? Yeah. To show, hey, look, I live in this big you know, very big house. This is not normal, okay? No. For people in Xinjiang, never mind China, it's not normal to have a big house like this, okay? I'm not, who cares where, what her background is, but from what you can see, she must be from a very upper class family. I mean, or it's have clear. Money. I mean, it's her it's language just, ability, yeah, the fact that she learn? was chosen to, by the CCP to put this out. Yeah, obviously has connections yes. with parents or whatever. But the fact that she's got a massive house as well, that's not normal, but she's trying to portray this as normal everyday Xinjiang, right. which is disingenuous at, Best. Real Xinjiang on Twitter. I mean, you, you can see she keeps circling around. Look, there's and YouTube. Uh, these people. This is the most important. Slander part. us for nothing. So just like these two YouTube bloggers. Okay. Oh well, here we go. Here's the part that um, I take big, big, big umbrage with. Okay, she says. These people slander us for nothing. Oh, it's just <sighs> like this. My ponytail. Oh, oh, these two YouTube. I guess it works. This yeah. shit works. Yeah. It's sad. We're laughing at it, but mm -hmm. geez, it works. Oh yeah, because all the incels come after you. Hey, listen. First of all, we hadn't slandered them at we all. Didn't even know who she was. The, this this is what she's saying. It's slander. When I said, "Yep, the CCP's propaganda bu budget is massive, and they're using it to boost propaganda YouTube channels." Our lovely regular <laughs> shills included. Okay, that's what we said. We did not attack them. No, I didn't we even like, at them. I didn't, know, I didn't people... know they had a Twitter. Yeah, this was not aimed at them. We didn't at them. Nope. There was nothing about them. We were just like, what's going on? Why is there propaganda yeah. on our channel? What's this horrifying propaganda turning up on our, on our channels? We did nothing to slander them. We did nothing to go after them. And that's what's annoying is they take this as an opportunity to use us again as ammunition. Oh, look, these guys are attacking us. This is what they want. They want to bring down people who are telling the truth, people that have a, a message that's different from the CCP. Whether it's the truth or not, it's just different, and they don't like it. So they have girls like this, and they have channels like this, and she's not the only channel. This is not oh, the just, only channel. You'll see, you'll, see. you'll see. But this is their tactic, is to gain sympathy from, you know, from simps. simps. <laughs> okay. That's the name. Yeah, exactly. But it's not just simps. Mm -hmm. It's simps that will spread the word, retweet, and come to their aid. But it's also uh, the tankies as well. We had mm. a lot of communist sympathizers, not just simps, but communist sympathizers that are like PSYOP this, CIA that, you know, the mm, typical yeah, jargon yeah. or whatever, and retweeting this stuff. Because they'll do anything, even if they didn't know this is bullshit. Yeah, yeah. They'll do anything to, to further their, their message, yeah. right? So it's a whole brigade of people. Oh, uh, but it gets better because in the same video, let's, let's continue. What I want to see. This piano music, by the yeah, way. This, this sad piano music nonsense is really getting on my nerves. Such a poor little girl. Someone said that she put advertising on their videos. Yeah. Oh, my word. Oh, no. My Hang poor. On. Oh, you attacked me because somebody said that ads played on their video. Yeah. And guess what? This is the most important part because none of their messages can never not say this. What she's yeah, about yeah, to say. Yeah, watch, watch. Say is that uh, Xinjiang is uh, the same as uh, other places in China. People live uh, and. Uh, we'll go back for that. Yeah. That is all Han Fu. Yeah, why are they wearing Han? Han Fu? That's Han clothing, by yeah, the way. That's just, not, just that's not Xinjiang that clothing no. at all. So, anyway, um, continue. All right. Yeah. People. Work in peace and happiness. There is no genocide and no forced labor. We. Okay, there's no genocide and no forced labor. That had to be said. And they cut it into the video. 
Did did you hear it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, why? Why did she have to say that though? What does that have to do with us telling them to stop putting? Ads? I have absolutely no idea because that needs to be the overarching message, and that's the only reason they're making these videos. Yeah, exactly. It's to counter. It's to make misinformation. Hey, by the way, look, we have a proverb in China. Oh, let's, let's see. Let's listen What's to this proverb? proverb. You know, you know what a proverb is, right? It's like yeah. you, you know, yeah. it's it's kind of like Aesop's fables. Yeah, and stuff. I know what a proverb yeah, is. You know what a, okay, yeah. let's hear what this proverb is. We have a proverb in China, caring is fictitious and seeing is believing. Now so, that yeah. is a, a Chinese proverb if I ever did hear yeah. one. Yeah, hearing is fictitious and seeing is believing. I guess China has to claim everything, including proverbs now that don't belong to China. Right, you know who's welcome to Xinjiang? What? Uh, no one. Yes. No one is welcome to Xinjiang. Even if you manage to get your ass in there, you will be followed every single place. With cameras, police, you'll have your footage looked at, your pictures looked at, you'll be interrogated, and don't even try to leave the city center. No, no, so come on. It's like, so people from all over the world are welcome to Xinjiang, my ass. If you go to the tourist part, yes. So people from all over the world are uh, welcome to Xinjiang. I'll be waiting here for you. Yeah, with your freaking SWAT team and, and freaking PLA interrogators no, that we've dealt with before. No, 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 but don't you see, I'll be waiting here for you. That's another, yep. uh, it's a dog whistle to the Sims. Yep. It's like, they're like, oh. Come to, oh, I can't this. wait. Yeah. I'll go see her. She's yeah. waiting for me. Come oh. on, guys, seriously. <laughs> Just a strand of wool, please. <laughs> Stop. A bit of wool. Stop. Like I said, you're not getting a piece of that whisker. Bye. Whisky. Okay. So, can I, can I say, pause it here. Yeah, yeah. So, can I, can I uh, say something here? Sure, sure. It doesn't end there. In mm -hmm. fact, it just begins. Sure. So we were like, holy shit, what an effort yeah. to go after us after. I'm not saying there was an attack or anything, but they went, they used that opportunity to really just blow their entire load right in the beginning. Sure. And what that did was create a bunch of chabdo foibles and yeah. problems because yeah. what it did was pique our curiosity. Why is this channel, backed, which is backed by state media, obviously, yeah. that's claiming not to be, sure. why are they so aggressive? Yeah. Why are they going ape shit right now against us? Mm. Why are they taking all this stuff out of context and using this to like promote genocide, like it doesn't exist and all this kind of stuff? Yeah. Shouldn't they just like let it go and then kind of go in the background? Mm. Because what they could have done to mitigate this situation is be like, hey, it's my advertising, I do whatever the hell I want. Yeah. Not. There's no genocide. There's no forced labor. There's no this. You These lie. guys are lies. Mm. Blah, blah. I'm going to do more to expose your lies. Because now, what do we do? We, we want to find the motivation. Yeah. So I was digging around some TikTok videos because yeah. I'm currently making a TikTok expose that's supposed to be out today. Yeah. And I didn't do it because it'll come out next week because I was dealing with this. Because sure. you know what I found? Another channel that I found on TikTok was called Guli. So yeah. this girl's name is uh, Story of Xinjiang by Guli. Yeah. So I saw it pop up on TikTok and I said, oh, crazy, she's on TikTok too. So I started watching the videos and I was like, that's not her. I showed you. Yeah. You're like, that's not her. And I was so, like, yeah, dude. So I started searching around. We started searching around. Yeah. And uh, well, let's, 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 let's see what else we've done. Um, this also says Guli. This is another channel called Guli. Mm. So keep in mind, this girl's name is supposedly Guli, yeah. right? So we found there's another channel called Guli about Xinjiang, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And you know what else we found? Well, we found more. Give, give it a second. We'll get there. There we go. We found uh, another channel Guli. called Guli, a, a girl, girl from, from Xinjiang. Xinjiang. And guess what? It's not the same person. No. Also videos about Xinjiang, and they're all new. Oh, oh you know what else we found? Another channel called Guli. Guli. Another Xinjiang girl named Guli. Yeah. And guys, I hope you're getting some goosebumps right now, because look at what we've unraveled. Uh, what's this? Oh. It's another Xinjiang channel called Guli. Guli, yeah. Guli again. Mm. How many Guli's can we find, dear yeah, CCP? Yeah, it's, you it's quite a few. You fucked up so bad. Oh, look, there's another oh, one. Oh, there's another one. Guli, Guli Xinjiang. Xinjiang. Another one. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So all of these girls came together. <laughs> Actually, because they're not even related to no. each other here. And decided, I'm going to make a propaganda channel about in Xinjiang, Xinjiang around the same time period. My name will be Gu Li. Yeah. So you know what we did? We said, let's talk to some Uyghurs. Yeah. We have some Uyghur friends. Mm -hmm. We reached out. I reached out to two Uyghur friends that I know in Xinjiang. Yeah. 
Ask them about this because this and is ask them about too. this. Like, what are the odds that yes. all of these propaganda channels are going to the main person is going to be named Guli? Right now, what I did was I didn't bring up any of this stuff. I, I, sure. I wanted to ask about the entomology of the names, and I also reached out to a Uyghur YouTuber I know here named Inti. Yeah. He's an American Uyghur, yeah, uh, very good YouTuber. Shout out to his channel. Um, you'll you'll see you'll him see in a him second right here. Now. But anyway, what I asked was uh, the entomology of the name. Yeah, right. So. What it is is Gur. Gur yeah. is a is a Uyghur name, but it's yeah. an addition to a name. So right. it's something something Gur. It's something yeah. that Uyghur names do, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, what everyone is telling me is that yeah, I mean, it's a common addition to, to, to a name, but you wouldn't run into six people in a row. Yeah. All of these channels named all of them are named Guli, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Number two, the, these Uyghur people told me that this is something that a lot of Han people get wrong is that when they generalize, they say all Xinjiang people, all Uyghur people dance, all people blah, 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 do this, yeah. this, this. All of them are named Gu Li. Yeah, exactly. It's just like a girl's name. So what happened was my, my Uyghur friend Inti, mm -hmm. he studied politics in China, right? Right. He was telling me about this whole, this whole thing. Can you go to the next slide? Sure. This is very important. So, We'll get there this yeah. way. There's Inti, by the way. Uh, his yeah. link's down below. He's a YouTuber. He's a Uyghur guy. Super awesome. Yeah, Very he, nice he hangs out with Lila Farley. Yeah, he's friends with Lila Farley. He's a Farley. good guy. So anyway, um, now this is his proof about how you'll get second-degree terrorism. Yeah, he, he said if regular Uyghurs got caught while using VPN in China, China will sentence them to a crime of second-degree terrorists. And he's got some screenshots of somebody who's, you know, like the, the being charged. You know, it's got the sheet there. Yes. So there's proof of that for everyone who's... For everyone who still has their head in the clouds about the fact that just random Chinese people and random Chi like uh, Uyghurs or Xinjiang people can just go and make a YouTube channel and use a VPN. They can't. The only way you can do it and at the same time be recognized by the foreign ministry spokesperson is if you've been greenlit to do so. Right. That's the only way. So you must have backing from the government or at least be accepted by the government that it's okay for you to do it. Right. So here's the deal. Go to the next slide. Yeah. When I was talking to Inti about this, he told me that this was uh, a thing from Xuan Quan Bu. Xuan Quan Bu is like Xuan Quan Bu is like the uh, propaganda department of China, mm -hmm. and what they do is they create the narrative that China is going to follow. Sure. It's usually incorrect. It's something that needs to be like disproven or something like this, right? Yeah, yeah. And what they did was they're, they operate out of Beijing, so yeah. Beijing will come up with a narrative, right? Mm -hmm. And their narrative will be uh, people are talking shit about how there's forced labor in Xinjiang or genocides. Mm -hmm. And they'll say, well, we need to do propaganda narratives like like the Guli thing. Yeah. So what they'll do is they'll scatter shot. And that's what mm -hmm. we saw with the Pompeo thing. Overnight, you have thousands of videos saying, we hate Pompeo. How dare mm -hmm. you say this about Xinjiang? And the rest of the world looks at that and like, what the yeah, hell is this on? crap? This is obviously forced. Yeah. They did the same with the Gulis, right? What they did was they created a bunch of channels for propaganda mm -hmm. to combat the narrative, the Western media lies about yeah, Xinjiang. Yeah, exactly. And they scatter shot of the name as well because the stereotype female name for a Uyghur girl is Gu Li, according to Chinese people. It's never used isolated, by the way. Gu Li is it's not. It's kind not of like, like if you wanted someone to set up uh, propaganda in in America or something, they're like, "What's a common American name?" Uh, John. Okay, let's just right. create story John by in John. <laughs> yeah. Yes, John in America. John does this. John, John in New so, York. John, John in this. So it's like yeah. Gu Li's a common name. Let's use that one. Right, but they used it wrong. Yeah. And anyway, long story short, they did this, and the reason they did this is the next slide. And this yeah. is uh, this is what uh, Inti was telling me about. Again, he studied politics in China. He knew he saw as soon as I asked him a couple questions about yeah. this, he yeah. knew exactly what it was. Yeah. And this is uh, Jiang Hao Zhong Guo Gu Shi. Tell and a Hao, good Chinese story. Jiang Hao Zhong Guo Gu Shi was a campaign set up by Xi Jinping, Winnie the Pooh himself. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you what it is. And this will all make sense to you. Yes, listen to this. This is important. And while you're listening to this, remember what is the name of the YouTube channel? Du Li. No, Xinjiang? No. What? Yeah, let's go find it. Let's go find a, a, a... We got a screenshot somewhere here, don't we? Oh, good. Is, oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. It is... Uh, sorry, it's this ponytail thing's really bugging me. I I don't have a ponytail, yet I stand for truth. It's called... Story, story of Xinjiang, Xinjiang by, by Guli. Guli. Now, there's actually multiple of these story... There's one called Story of China, which they comment on each other's as well. They're connected. We'll get into that at a, in, a, in, a, in the future. But this one is a bit more pressing because this is the one that's been taking out ads on our videos. Right. Okay, so it's so, called Zhang Hao. Zhongguo Gu Shi. Yeah, so tell a good Chinese story. Story of Xinjiang? 
Coincidence? I don't think so. So here's the government uh, right. entry mm -hmm. for what telling the story of Xinjiang is, mm -hmm. or is China, sorry, telling the uh, good yeah. China story. This, yeah. is, this is translated into English. Yeah. Telling the story of China is a slogan about the People's Republic of China's external propaganda, external propaganda, external. put forward by the General Secretary of the CPC Central Committee, Xi Jinping, okay? Mm -hmm. It was first put forward by Xi Jinping at the National Propaganda and Ideological Work Conference in August of 2013. Mm. So that was right in the beginning of his leadership, sure. right? That's when we should have had warning signs, by the way. Yeah. Since then, Xi Jinping has mentioned the slogan on many occasions, sometimes in conjunction with spread the voice of China. February 2016, Xi Jinping and the CPC Central Committee put forward the work of the forum news media to tell good Chinese stories of specific contents. Mm. Tell a good socialism with Chinese characteristics stories. Speak a good Chinese dream story. These are all the, the propaganda narratives. Mm -hmm. um, speak good Chinese people stories. Speak a good Chinese story and the story of excellent Chinese culture. Excellent Where Chinese. Where have we heard that before? All over the place. It seems like the more digging we do, the more of you shills we connect to the direct Chinese propaganda yeah, department. Exactly. So watch your back with this kind of stuff, because honestly, if you're found out to be connected to this uh, this kind of stuff, you're probably going to get in a little bit of trouble yeah, it's if you're taking possible. like massive payouts from the CCP. Yeah. This, uh, the story of China's peaceful development. That right. was not my threat, by the way. I'm saying that people are going to discredit yeah, you by saying that you're working for the Chinese sure. government. Uh, October 2019, in the Chinese University of Hong Kong, Assistant Professor of Journalism and Communication uh, Xu, Xu Lo Wen told British uh, BBC television, uh, click, click program, Tell China Story is a concept that received great attention in the past two years, and many Chinese believe that many overseas people have misunderstood China's views. Right. Uh, this woman named Shirley Ziyu said, uh, China is the world's second largest economy and is doing what any other country in the, chi in the world uh, any other country in this position should do. Today, China owes the world its own story. Chinese story told from a Chinese perspective. I think that this is not only a privilege of China, but also a responsibility. So guess yeah. what? This is a propaganda campaign set up in 2013 by Xi Jinping himself. Yep. And this is a direct arm of the tell a Chinese story. So what you're seeing is YouTube channels pop up out of nowhere when they sh they're they completely banned. Yeah. It's an yeah. act of terrorism for Uyghurs to do this. Yeah, you can't. To, to tell a Chinese story. And this is to tell a fake Xinjiang story to make sure that people don't look too much into this genocide situation. Yeah, yeah. So what we've, we're literally nose to nose with the top levels of Chinese propaganda right now. Yeah, they're completely going after us. They're using our channels yeah. to advertise, to try and counter the, the things that we say. Okay, and we're not going out there being like, oh, Xinjiang genocide, like blah, blah, blah. That's not what we do in our channels. We're no. not doing that. We're pointing to the fact that things are going on there and it can't all be just roses and dancing weeds like are, they keep saying. You guys are making this way too easy, by the way. Yeah. Seriously, you best, like Communist Party of China, put your money elsewhere because this is a failed investment attempt. Yeah. Now, we do realize that we've given them a huge amount of advertising through sure. this, which is what they wanted in the first place by placing adverts on our channel. They certainly didn't want this sex. No. <laughs> but <laughs> we want to forewarn and forearm all of you to know what you're dealing with here. Because they're everywhere. It's disingenuous. It's disingenuous. It is propaganda. It's fluff pieces. And here's the thing. There, there is a slight chance that these girls don't realize yeah i, I want to end with that yeah it's entirely possible because if you've grown up in a privileged situation we see this a lot remember we did that thing about the girls going on like chinese people don't eat dogs yeah 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 you know they yeah. are good friends or whatever you know you do get people that live in these bubbles they're very privileged and they grow up in a bubble and they're like you know everything's great there's no genocide here i don't see genocide in my little bubble around where i live and they've fully believe it and then they could be used as a useful tool by the government so i'm going to give them a little bit of a benefit of Can the I, doubt. I wanted to say something about that yeah we're not going after these girls no and we're not going after no. any of these channels i actually i'm not going to say benefit of the doubt i'm going to say there is a massive chance that they have absolutely no idea about the genocide mm -hmm. or about forced labor or anything like this because what happens is these minders Zhao Lijian knows where, what's going on you sure, know you know course. what you're doing Zhao Lijian Hua Chunying knows what's going on obviously Xi Jinping who's <laughs> masterminded this whole thing yeah. the propaganda departments in Beijing know exactly what they're doing yeah but when they hire people like this and they get people with good skills or they look good and stuff like this these yeah. people are not i mean they're they're basically being paid to go out there and, and combat our messages yeah but they don't necessarily believe any of that no. right they might 
But at the end of the day, you got to understand it's the puppet masters behind them that are doing this. Yeah, right? I mean, uh, to just just quickly throw this in here, but um, oh, this is gr- perfect timing. It's kind of part of this whole thing. You know, they keep denying genocide all the time. Well. You tell everybody what's So this on the is screen. the UN General Assembly Hall. So this mm-hmm. is where they get all the countries in the world that are in the UN to vote on, and this is the law, right? The yes. responsibility to protect and prevention of genocide, war crimes, ethnic cleansing, and crimes against humanity. This is not about Xinjiang. Yeah. This is about genocide, war crimes, and, and human rights atrocities in yeah, general. Yeah. So they needed to put forward a vote to basically make this law more strict, right? Sure. We need to pay attention to genocide and all this stuff. Yeah. So... 115 countries voted yes, of course. Mm -hmm. And 15 countries voted no. Do you know what one of those countries was that voted no? We support genocide in the UN. They went there with their face and said, we support genocide in the UN. Do you know what one of those countries was? Iran. It was Iran. You know what? Syria. Probably more apt. Venezuela. It was, yeah. Yeah, it was. But what's the country we're usually talking about? China. Oh, it was China. Yeah. And these countries probably fell into fold because of China as well. So you look at, actually, can you bring that up? I'll bring it up again, yeah. Just look at this. You literally have China voting no to protect against the prevention of genocide and war crimes. I mean, ethnic cleansing and crimes how, against humanity. How do you just I, my message to the tankies out there? How do you justify that? Yeah. How do you do that? Well, I mean, I, I've picked something up. All the countries that voted no are kind of the countries that are guilty of doing any one of there those particular you go. things. And there you go. So, yeah. Or it falls in the fold with China. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So you have Cuba, Venezuela, Iran, yeah, Syria. All that kind of nonsense. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of where it ended up. Again, this is not, this is not like some, oh, we got you good piece. Mm-hmm. This is a message to you guys out there that are consuming YouTube. Yeah. There is a shit ton of pro Xinjiang uh, genocide denial vloggers and just a s- smatterings of this stuff everywhere on every social network yeah. that you need to keep your eye out for. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it basically goes like this. Oh, there is no genocide in Xinjiang. There is no forced labor, but... And how about my ponytail? How about my ponytail? How about your ponytail? <laughs> yeah. uh, again, not going after her. Um, <laughs> no, but, but there, it's effective is what I want to The problem say. is, is that they, the Chinese government has created this by design, so they will use her to go after people like us and anyone, if you try to argue with their message. Or any number of the many ghoulies out there. Or yeah, all the ghoulies. There's a... six we found. There's yeah. probably more. So to wrap that up. You know, like slang, ghoulie means balls in South Africa. They does it? Kicked them in the ghoulies. Oh. You haven't heard that? Maybe, no, no, maybe I don't. it's a South African thing. Well, well, just, what do you know? I don't think that has anything to do <laughs> no. with what we're talking it's, about. It's also spelled like G O O L. Okay, I got gotcha. It's different. It's not. Well, it's just good trivia, really. Yeah, it's just trivia. Um, so, long story short, we just wanted you guys to be very aware of the propaganda forces out there. It'll oh, yeah. be interesting to see this unfold on Twitter because they they're really effed up. Not the girls, but the propaganda department really effed up by going on our channels really poor idea because you're not going to convince any of our audience that sure. there's no genocide in Xinjiang. Number two, what you've done is created open Pandora's box because you just got a bunch of Uyghur people that went on our behalf to go find out about all this stuff. Yeah. And thank you to you guys. Thanks to Inti especially for yeah. researching a lot of this stuff. But you don't understand. There's thousands of Uyghurs out there that are trying to combat this kind of stuff because they've lost family members in Xinjiang. Imagine how infuriating it must be yeah. if you are a dissident, somebody who's run away and your family's been put in an internment camp or whatever it is, and you see some pretty girls jumping around, not them specifically, but any one of those channels saying, everything's great here. There's no genocide. There's no forced labor, you know, and you're sitting there. It's kind of like a, if somebody, a Jew had escaped from Nazi Germany and there's a Jewish person in Germany, making videos and radio broadcasts yes. saying, yes. oh, there's no concentration camps here. Everything's yep. fine. Everything's great. Hitler's amazing. You know, it would really like be heartbreaking. It and would break your heart. And that's you got to also understand that there's so many people that have left and escaped Xinjiang who are now seeing these things and are appalled by them. And these people are talking to us and telling us just how absolute batshit crazy all of this stuff is. So why would we speak out about it, right? What's our, our, our motivation? Our motivation is the, the followers that we have that educate us about the situations that have happened to their own families yeah. in Xinjiang. 
I'll be totally honest with you. We avoided it in the beginning because we didn't have any personal context. We have sure. a lot now. Yeah. And a lot of people talk to us about this and there's so many people that need their voices boosted because they're they're too small or they don't know what to do or they can't speak out. There's a lot of people out there and you just can't imagine the feeling it would be to see a traitorous uh, government, basically, in your own province to, to be portraying this to the rest of the world to confuse yeah. them. Yeah. This it's, is what they're doing. Awful. And nothing personal against the girls themselves. No, and again, many like... many of them may have been duped into it, might be thinking... I feel bad. I actually correct. feel bad. We, we felt bad from day yeah. one. Yeah. But, I mean, did, I do have something personal about them calling us liars. And well, obviously, no but this is not... And stuff. But, yeah. This is not their it, message. They're just doing their job or they've been hoodwinked right. into it. And uh, absolutely don't anyone think about going and uh, attacking any of these people. Absolutely okay. not. We denounce it. You'll yeah. be blocked on the subreddit. You'll be blocked yeah. here. Do not this, do not do that. This Don't is about raising that. awareness and showing you the effective tactics of the CCP and their propaganda department yes. of which these girls belong to right. and are being used by. Right. We didn't say it was, was voluntary. No. No. I mean, that probably is voluntary, but you never don't know. realize it. Yeah, you don't realize anyway. it. But anyway, that doesn't matter. The point is you know how to look out for so, it. Yeah, that's the simp in me, like, you know, trying to defend them. But they don't, does, they, you know, <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's uh, move on. Let's they, take some... they deserve defense if they don't know what they're doing. Yes. Uh, we are going to take some super chats and then we're going to move on to our next segment. And we've got some more hilarious stuff coming. So what do we got? Uh... Dennis Stafford says, go on, keep going. Thank you. InterSim says, did you guys watch the 60 Minutes uh, segment on UFO? They could be using secret tech Chinese technology. Nah, let's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Thank you, I appreciate it. I, I doubt it. If you look at the um, the Mars landing, you know, they had to copy the CGI. I don't think there's any secret technology to worry about. Because <laughs> it'll be technology that's already known, just being used secretly. Correct. Uh, Junko Enoshima says, your videos make me want a motorbike. Good. Today I bought my first one at Zongsheng RA1. Okay. I love it. I could only afford Chinese. That's fine. Yeah. Hope this uh, super chat balances it out. Thank you. Yeah, no worries, man. Look, you got your get, karma get back. Into bike. Yeah, get into, get into biking. Doesn't yeah, matter what fun. you ride, as long as you ride. Drive it hard and then get a, get a nicer bike when you can afford it. Sure. Uh, Saruk42, have you watched NTD China's In Focus coverage? Uh, I'd rather have sulfuric acid than the chinese vaccine okay. well, that's a bit extreme that's I mean, a bit it's, much i would say the chinese vaccine is not dangerous it's just mm. fairly ineffective yeah it's ineffective uh carlson coy thank you mm -hmm. b brax thank you case closed criticize ccp rap all you rap music all you want see milk i still remember you singing mayo gong chan dang jo mayo xin jong at your wedding and that's why it's on youtube my friend yeah and it's because i'm making fun of myself absolutely and yeah. i was literally singing for communist party officials yeah, I was there. Yeah, you were there. It was cringe as hell, and unfortunately, <laughs> that's life. But that's that's why it's on YouTube. There for you guys it, to it enjoy was like and a laugh with me. Table of foreigners, you know. There was yeah. one table with all the foreigners, you know, Seamilk's fr friends who were not Chinese, right. and we were just like getting drunk and laughing at Seamilk having to sing these red songs on stage. It was hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> and that's where he got his uh, surname, uh, his nickname. That day Seamilk. was that day. Yeah. <laughs> Shen Lei says, what do you think about that top scientists now actually want to investigate the lab leak theory? Uh, finally, right? It's about but time. It's, it is happening. The dam is, bur is bursting. Capullo says, have you lads heard about the Irishman Richard O'Halloran, who is stuck in China two years because of a dispute with a Chinese business owner in Ireland? Uh, yes, I did hear about that. This kind of thing does happen. That's why it's dangerous. You can be an uh, exit banned. I knew an uh, Irish guy that got murdered in China. Actually. Yeah. No. Uh, Eric Pacheco, God bless. Thank you. Uh, 7466YPB. Thank you. Thank you for the hippo. Thank you for the hippo. I very much appreciate the hippo. Mm -hmm. um, crap, sorry. Hippocampus. Hippocampus. I got to use my hippocampus to, yeah. to find out where I was here. Um, <laughs> there we are. Are we here? Yes, we're here. Okay. Um, what happened? Tornado Brick says, what happens if a Chinese woman has a third child? Uh, she'd have to pay a massive fine. Fine. Uh, there are ways around it if you're rich. Even with if the one child policy, yeah. you, you could have a second child, but you'd have to pay a lot of money for it. Yeah. Derek Shui says, how good is your reading with traditional script? Pretty bad. Yeah, but you know, like it is. You read some of it. It, it, it It's kind of easy to figure out sometimes. Kind of. Kinda. It depends. But yeah, I'll be honest. There are some that completely like just throw me off. I'm like, what right. is it? That, that was supposed to be, you know, like, right. sure, what the hell? Uh, us when Fox, fo, sorry, mm -hmm. says multiple, multi-segment trailer road vehicles are some sometimes called a road train. Yes, yeah. sometimes yeah, called right. a road train, yeah. Uh, Neutrubezilla, love your video guys. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Busted. Uh, Mark says, busted. <laughs> That's great. Fried cheese macaroni ball says, you know Finnish? Sadly, China is getting power here. Uh, I know a little bit of Finnish. Mm. Uh, Tess Sleuth, uh, big love from Russia. Binged both of your channels when discovered. Keep up the good work. Thank, Thank you. you. 
Belton Rhodes, which is the greatest yeah. name I've ever seen. Yeah, Belton Rhodes. You, I'm sorry, Orc Monkey, you've been superseded. Not not in our hearts, but the name wise. Yeah, Belton, Belton Rhodes, Rhodes is so good. It is. Next time you're in North Carolina, I'll have to buy you both my favorite beer. Any East Coast Adventures meetups planned? I hope. Yes. We're not doing meetups anymore, though. Yeah, not not a, not unless it's going to be a very small gathering of yeah. like kind of RSVP stuff because yeah. we had some scary uh, things yeah. happen at, a, at our last meetup. Tom Chanel, what are your thoughts on the situation in Hong Kong right now? I've lived there for 10 months and hate to see this stuff going on there for the last two years. Mm. Love your videos. Um, very bad, and Hong Kong's lost. Yeah, I mean, we, we love the people of Hong Kong. You know, a lot of us have a lot of investment in Hong Kong, not only family, but, you know, um, I spent a great deal of time there. I was married to a Hong Kong woman at one point. You know, like, the, it's really sad to see w what has become of Hong Kong. Right. And uh, all we can do is kind of watch from afar right now and hope that uh, things just don't degrade or deteriorate too quickly. Correct. Yeah. Uh, all right. We should probably move yeah, on to the next Yeah, go for it. Go for it. We're skipping out the Wumao section today, guys. And the reason for that is we kind of went through all this internet troll crap with all the Twitter back and forth there. And we feel like you don't need any more of that nonsense for now. So we're moving on to Worldview, where we talk about everything in the world, but specifically to do with China, usually. Something along those lines. <laughs> You know, no, I'm sorry, I'm just, what? someone in the live chat mentioned something about that uh, about <laughs> hats. Oh, really? Yeah, about hats. Okay, about you know, hats. Like pointy hats. Oh, yeah, like yeah. cone shaped hats. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and maybe in, in Gansu somewhere. Oh, right, right. They did, did they? <laughs> did they? All right, yeah. 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 <laughs> what do we call that? Bell in now. That's what I call Bell in volume four. Yeah, anyway, guys, sorry, um, sorry. let's let's get on to this. Oh, poor old Greta uh, Thunberg. Yep. Chinese state media is fat shaming her now. Yeah, it's, and it's not even Global Times. No, it's, it's China Daily. Yeah, it's China Daily. So um, we, you should know because we did a whole episode about how Greta Thunberg finally called out China. Oh, we were so proud of her. So they've got this really big article where they just keep going on and on about like, oh yeah, well it's about time you... Um, dropped your carbon emissions, you know? So, yeah, just to recap, she called out their carbon emissions mm. because they're the biggest, not only the biggest, per, the biggest uh, uh, export, or sorry, egg, 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 what's the word? Producer. Producer of <laughs> carbon emissions, but yeah. it's all the developed countries in the world put together. Yeah, it's more than all of them. Yeah. So, anyway, the gist of this article is they basically say, you know, it's a Western lifestyle that puts out the most carbon. And look at you, you're getting fat. You claim to be a vegetarian or whatever, but you know... you Chinese state media, guys. State media. And China they, Daily, a big one. They're literally fat shaming her in this article. And then they show a picture of her on the train They're eating like, look food. at all this food she's yeah, all eating. wasteful. So we took a close look at this picture anyway. She's got two bananas. Some a, bread. A bowl of what appears to be porridge or something. I don't know. I guess maybe hummus or yogurt. Yeah, maybe. Uh, bread and a, a coffee cup and someone else has a salad It's like there. a biodegradable and she's not wasting anything. She's using reusable water bottles. Yeah, and, and not even utensils. Yeah. We were thinking about this. You know, when we used to eat at Chinese restaurants, everything comes um, cling wrapped in kind of like a film because, you know, people are worried about their dishes, especially down south, being dirty. So there's plastic that you have to tear off of your bowls and your plates and stuff before you use it anyway. Then there's all the disposable chopsticks going everywhere. Huge amounts of food waste and stuff like that. So this is a very hypocritical article. Not to be all whataboutism or anything. But no, but it is. <laughs> yeah. But the, the best part is, is that they, they go on to basically say that she's done nothing for the environment. But China does things for the environment. Okay, <laughs> Like something like... Does she has she done anything? Has she beaten back the sands of the Gobi Desert with the green initiatives? By the way, the picture that they used proves how ineffective I it is. I used to live up there. What they've done is, in order to try and stop the desert desertification, which, by the way, is kind of the fault of what's been yeah, done no shit. in China by the Communist Party in the past. Yeah, all the weird things they did. Desertification is yeah. the product of the CCP. Yeah. Yeah, at least to a certain degree. A huge so degree. So what they've done is they've forcefully planted trees and stuff in the desert there to try and, you know, fight back. And they showed a picture of that as proof. And in the picture, you can see the trees are covered with sand already. Yep. The dunes are taking over and covering them. It's not sustainable. It's not going to turn Number out Number two, well. it's, it's been a, to the detriment, and this sucks. I hate, yeah. to be, I hate to say this, but it's a, to the detriment of a lot of the farmers up in the desert yeah. regions, especially the ones I talked to. Because mm -hmm. what would happen is they put all these trees that are not supposed to be there mm. in, in these very arid regions, especially near the Yellow River up there, and like yeah. in that area of Inner Mongolia where I used to live. 
it takes all the groundwater away from their crops yeah. and goes into this huge face project, basically. Yeah. Look, we're stopping desertification. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, the um, it continues. It gets kind of worse. They 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 say, oh yeah, well, um, okay, you know, they keep going on about basically fat shaming her, but they're like. This is environmentalism like China versus the West. And they show a couple of pictures, like a little collage here. They're like, in China, we actually, like, through the sweat of our hands, take back the desert in the Gobi Desert by planting trees. In the West, you know, um, protesters yeah. go out there and hold up placards, yeah. make a mess, and then drive um, high-displacement cars home. Yeah, you, don't, you know what I... Whenever I think of the West, mm. especially like Canada and America in particular, yeah. I always think of how there's just no environmental efforts. There's no mm. environmentalists and there's no one out there planting trees and working no. for, the, for a better initiative for the environment. Yeah. It's just no one. No. Whereas in China, every citizen holds hands together and fights pollution. You know what they say is they uh, stare mm. down the face of dirty polluters. Ready yes. Player One. Yes. Right? yes. They see the larch. Wait, wait. What is that thing? Let me show you Chinese man. Well, yeah, I guess they're. You know what they're doing right now is showing you Chinese manners. Got to show you Chinese to manners. Yeah, man. exactly. Um, anyway, it's just it's kind of shameful that the state media again has to fat shame and attack uh, this girl, and everyone likes to rag on her because she's a very obnoxious individual. Let's be honest. You know, she's not a very nice person. I don't think many people like Greta, especially no. people who drive cars and stuff. You know, but the fact of the matter is, state media going after a little girl and calling her fat. And that's why she has no right to say anything about China's carbon emissions. What she said emissions. about China's carbon emissions was just fat. She retweeted data. Yes. Okay. It's, it's not, and it, it, China didn't even refute it because it, it's true. It just shows you that this is a common tactic by the Chinese government, yeah. never mind the Chinese netizens and things like that, sure. is to, rather than attack the message, attack the person. Okay, and that's what they do with us all the time. They try to say how bad we are to try and, you know, are oh, you racist? Lies. And, you know, this it's always the lies. Because somehow that's going to change truths, you know? But that's the, the reasoning that they have. And I guess it does work in Chinese society because you shame people into silence. That's sure. what you do. And it's very effective. That's why they go after family and things like that too. But this shows you once again what you're dealing with, guys. Yeah, pretty much. Dealing so, with cotton. Yeah, you're, you're dealing with cotton. Yeah, you are. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, let's get some super chats. Oh, yes. Uh, well, before you do that, oh, yeah, we have. we've got to... Q and A, guys. This is what we do. We answer your questions, and you question our answers. So now we're going to do a marathon and get through all the super chats we haven't answered yet. So let's do it. Janky Raman says, "Can you clarify what the specific teachings of Xi Jinping thought are? Would you consider doing a video on it?" Uh, yes. Unfortunately, Xi Jinping's thoughts is a bunch of airy nonsense of <laughs> circular logic and reasoning that means nothing. No. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I might actually do something on it. I yeah. actually have the book. <laughs> I was of course to, you do. I, you know, I do a lot of research behind sure. what I do. Sure. Uh, Shooter Down Under. Hey, Winston, saw your latest movie in the cinemas. Uh, you were kind of awesome and kicked so much ass. I didn't know. I don't know why these Wu Maos would want to mess with you. I don't know which movie. I don't know is. which movie that is, but. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Sander uh, Yurston. I do actually have a black belt in karate, you know. Yeah. I do. Very. It's a, a very interesting I acquisition. Say I, I, I have a karate black belt is what I should say. Right. Yeah. You didn't. You didn't. And I, yeah. I did yeah. earn it, but not yeah. through traditional means. Through very weird means. Yeah. Uh, another story for another time. Yeah. Eric Solheim, the bendy bus lover, is part of the Green Party in Norway. Sorry, I mixed yeah. it up. Mm -hmm. uh, literally everyone in their pet hamster hates that party. He, it's full of mentally sick hipsters disconnected from the real world. Thank you very much, Sander. Yeah. Now we know. Mm -hmm. I'm happy that uh, people from outside of the U.S. as well send us super chats to teach us about these little things because we don't. I don't know anything about, know about politics that. abroad. I barely know anything about politics here in America. Sure. Although great. everyone's always talking about it. Sure. Yeah. Uh, dear Julio, you got. Oh, somebody said I'm going to read this person's real quick. Jay Liar, buddy. Yeah. Says you didn't play the entire uh, Sichuan vaccine rap. We'll play you out with that rap. Yeah. We'll play them out with the rap. Do we have the full one? I don't. We, we just pause it the whole time. I'm saying. No, no. Because the SMCP one I understand, cuts but the, it short. We cut it like a million times. We'll play that whole segment at least. Okay. We'll play them out with that whole segment. Okay, all right. You guys are awesome. Follow your content. You have Here's some cake and tea money on my birthday as well. Happy oh, birthday, excellent. Sean. Mm. Uh, oh, he said happy birthday, Sean. And I will oh, say yeah. happy birthday, Julio. Yes, happy birthday to you both. Stormy Chu says, wanted to show you some support, guys. Uh, thanks for everything you do. 
What are your thoughts about the CCP affecting Hollywood? Part of me doesn't want to support movies that censor stuff when asked, and I think you shouldn't as well. We've, yeah. We've been very clear about yeah, that. Yeah, it's awful. I mean, it just degrades the quality of the movies anyway because they have to remove certain things that China would deem offensive or just wouldn't fly in China. So a lot of things that we're used to seeing appear in our movies just aren't there anymore. And now there's bizarre placements for products that you've never heard of before. Yeah, and, yeah. you know... Rent. They always have to have like random Chinese actresses or actors in a movie that doesn't it doesn't fit. You know, yeah, weird things like that. So it's kind of crappy, right? You Mostly know? the self censorship before it even leaves the American that's, audiences. That's the whole like, point. It's the self censorship. You can't show or say or do things that we used to see in Hollywood all the time. It makes it boring. The, we we love when China cancels movies even yeah. after they capitulated because it'll teach Hollywood a lesson. Yeah, learn. It'll uh, yeah. One might say. Uh, Mark Davis, thank you. Um, Tiananmen Massacre says Chinese <laughs> fraud news. Original K-pop songs are being credited as original and profited for royalties on YouTube by Chinese remake agencies. Yes, I've actually I've played that game before. Mm. I've been a victim of that. Org yeah. Borg, thank you. M Jert, hashtag Free Dave. Who's Dave? Apparently, there's a guy a Wuma named Dave in here. Oh, really? And I guess people are, want him to be freed. Oh, okay. He must have crossed the line. I didn't. I don't ban yeah. anyone. So. Yeah, we, we haven't been paying attention. Uh, Alex and Derno, 90. China has an old saying, I'm Richard from England, Europe, general mm. agent, agent of Ginger Boss. Ginger and Boss. Yeah, that is an old proverb I remember hearing growing up. That's brilliant, yeah. yeah. Um, Austin Fox, when are you guys going to ride your mo- motorcycles up to Northern California? Lots of cool places to see up there. Oh, yeah, we'll be support. doing it soon. It's awesome up there. I loved it. Yeah, it's you beautiful. Know, up Sonoma County and, and further up, you know, you get all the redwood trees. Yeah, it's something it's beautiful. spectacular Absolutely up there. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Walker Tim, TM, what is your fastest and easiest way to become an English teacher? I'm 16. I graduate in two weeks. Time isn't concerned. It takes four years. I don't care. I mean, oh, just go do a TEFL degree. or whatever it is. Yeah, we got to get a bachelor's degree. Oh, yeah, if you're going yeah. to teach in China. But, uh, yeah. you know, you get the TEFL certificate helps sure. a lot. That's That teaches you how to do it. Yeah, get and, any bachelor's degree and then get a TEFL certificate online. Yeah. Just do an online course. Yeah. T-E-F-L. Uh, yeah, yeah, T-E-F-L. Uh, Gelly Knife, tried mm-hmm. bringing up Xinjiang on Twitter. Someone tried making the argument that it's justified because of terrorism over the globe. Wu Maos must be getting rusty at their job. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, they are. Mm-hmm. They certainly are. Siptarshi Singh. Oh, we got hit with that too, the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, that today, actually. It's so ridiculous. Siptarshi Singh nice to see you guys again. Are Hwes and other Muslims for also forced to sing the national anthem on Eid? Are their mosques also being targeted? Uh, less so because they're ethnically Chinese, but they are feeling the pinch from what I've heard from people. Yeah, uh, basically any kind of religion over there, you know, you have to follow certain rules. Yes. You can't just freely, no. you know, practice a religion in no China. Matter. And when you see propaganda saying, look, they they don't have restricted religion, then you know exactly what's happening. Yeah. And if you ever see a propaganda piece come out about something that is being claimed to say, no, it's not like that, then it is that. It is that, yeah. Uh, Alpha Omega says, with the re- recent crackdown on cryptocurrency based on laws in 2017, why has taken China so long to enforce laws when the laws are on the book? Well, it's very simple. CCP members were using crypto to move money. Yes, of course. So now it's not serving their purpose and there's huge capital flights. So they want to think. Yep. Uh, Scott Barker, please keep up the great work. It's truly important. And kudos for not backing down to the CCP. I want to ask how Prozzi is doing in Taiwan. Go watch his channel. He's got his own channel. <laughs> he posts all the time. Yeah. Um, you might be surprised. Mm. Yeah, thank you. Sick lid. Can Muslim Uyghurs get tattoos? I wonder what it says. Um, yeah, I mean, anyone I, can get a tattoo. I was going to mention that, you very know, because the, the, the girl has a tattoo on her arm, and that's not very normal for, I'd say, traditional Chinese people. You know, in Beijing and Shanghai, you've seen a, like, a resurgence. It's huge in China now amongst mm. the young people. It's massive, massive, yeah. massive, massive. They've cracked down on it again recently. But though. not for random mm. people. Yeah, I just, uh, from my own experience and all the Chinese people I know, it's not common. Especially if it's a traditional sort of... A no, 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 yeah. no. So I'm just... But it's, it's becoming popular. But yeah, she's, she looks like she's from like an upper class family. And yeah, kind of for sure. Grew up kind of rich. So it's probably that kind of situation, you know? Sean TV. Thank you very much. Very generous. Yeah. Well, uh, keep up the great generous. works, thank guys. Uh, Benjamin Wood. Have you noticed that the lab leak theory has now started to hit the mainstream? Yes, we did. Thank mm-hmm. you. It's about time. Matthew Frank. Keep up the fight. We will. Yeah. Uh, Shen Lei says, we support you two for your actual words, not based on those haircuts. <laughs> I think yours came out pretty good. Mine's too short for my, my cut, the cut of my jib. Okay, the cut of your hair. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, maybe get Winston to grow, can grow a ponytail for extra views. I've been considering that. You know 100% that someone on the subreddit is going to do a, a Photoshop of you with a ponytail. <laughs> a ponytail? Now. But like, 
it's gonna be like when you're reaching like this and they're gonna make it so you're like playing with it and like looking at the camera like this. That's that's hilarious. They're gonna do that. Yeah. You know, uh it would actually suit me if I drove my fireboat around with like a mullet that could mullet become ponytail. A, a ponytail, that'd be awesome. I like it. Yeah. Listening to hair metal. Yeah. David Pay, just in case you want to do ad wear ads on CGT and channel. We're I think considering, you I wonder what, what Yeah, would we're gonna bring that up. We, if we took out an advert on all these shill channels and all these kind of like... Uh, Not for us. No, no, no. Obviously, it wouldn't be an advert for us. It'll just be like a PSA. So that if someone clicks on one of those, it pops up and it says, what you're about to watch So you know how they're doing all Chinese self- propaganda. Right. They're doing all the self-promotion stuff to, yeah. to advertise on our channels. What we wanted to do is not to say, go watch Low 86 and no, Serpents no, no, Today. No, 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 Not an advert. We won't just even be honest. PSA. It. It'll be a PSA, right? What It'll if say, we could do that? Maybe what we... you're watching is Chinese propaganda. Maybe we can crowdsource it and actually put an yeah. AdWords campaign together. It. We'll look into it to make sure that it's not breaking any terms yeah. of service or anything. Yeah, we don't want to break the law. But that's probably a good idea. At least it would educate people when they click on these that, hey, you're watching Chinese propaganda. Chinese propaganda. State propaganda. Take it's it with been, a grain of salt. It's been linked to the Chinese government, et cetera, yep. et cetera. Be careful. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, we'll look into that. Uh, Bo- it's like reverse Wu Mao, reverse Uno card. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bobo Deluxe, how does she make those piano noises? <laughs> yeah. She's it's playing the, with her toes, maybe. I'm su- yeah, I su- I'm surprised we didn't get with copyright with that <laughs> piano music, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. um, M. Jert, question about face culture. Do people believe the BS or are they laughing behind their backs? Oh yeah, I mean like nobody believes in Yeah, but you have to put yeah. up you have to pretend you believe. It's a formality. Yeah. Wing zero eighty three. For the VPN thing, how does it work for international Chinese students? When this pandemic started, they went back home and they had to do online classes and they had to use VPNs. Do they do it on the DL? I mean, the Chinese government's not gonna go after every person using a VPN. No, that's not it's how only it is. when someone posts something that they don't like. Then they then use they, that. They as can a be like, law. Oh, you were using right. a VPN, that's against the law. They nail them with that. Right. Kevin M, I'm an ADV China simp. Haha, ha, great content, guys. The ponytail flip didn't work on me. Oh, awesome. Wow. Keep, keep keep your strong. white yeah, keep your white knight fedora off. Yeah. And keep your knight normal knight helmet on and shield yourself from symptom. Yes. Yes. Good job. Uh, David Newfeld. I helped those girls go to art school in Paris by help by buying their art in Tiananmen Square in 2004. Uh, one offered the other as a wife. Hope they are well. Lol. Well, yeah. That's a scam he's talking about. Where they sell art and yeah, the art stuff's terrible. Uh, Bjarni Chris Janssen, uh, mm-hmm. this channel is stellar reporting. Been following Winston since he was walking about in China. I have a Chinese friend trying to convince me that the Dalai Lama is a war criminal, <laughs> and then I realized what the hell. Sure, sure, nice. Yeah, uh, Scott Zion, thank you. <laughs> and CCP I clown says CCP clown with some very cute, beautiful Clowns. looking clown emojis. Excellent. Idiot TV says keep up the good work. Guys. Thank you. We will. Koala 1203, thoughts on Polymeter's part uh, four part YouTube videos with China's reckoning. How accurate is he in terms of China's problems mentioned? Very. Very accurate. I actually took a look at his series and I'm quite impressed. I love you that. can tell that he hasn't had first hand experience, yeah. but he does due diligence on his uh, reviews. Oh, he's and great. I, I would absolutely suggest anybody watches We'll those. definitely start start recommending that. Yeah. That whole series is yeah, spot, it's really, it's spot really uh, Shen Lei says it's called Guli because it's the way that uh, people call pretty girls in, in Xinjiang, kind of like uh, Meinu. Now, the thing is, I actually asked this question to yeah. Xinjiang people, and there is a bit of hemming and hawing with that one. Yeah. Um, these people are calling themselves Washa Guli, Washa yeah, Guli. Yeah, my name They're is Guli. They're saying that's their name. Yeah. Uh, Magnum Beef, from fighting the CCP and their shills and now patrolling CCP thoughts, trying to deny the CCP's Uyghur genocide, y'all are doing the Lord's work. <laughs> Thank you, Orc Monkey. Mm-hmm. Uh, sincerely, thank you for standing up for the truth week after week, guys. You're doing the right thing. Thank you. Appreciate that. You should be called Orc Monkey again. Magnum Beef doesn't do it for me. Thank Orc you. Monkey 2000 he was the best. He awesome. Yeah. You're the same person, I understand. <laughs> um, Andrew L. says, research W-H-I-T-E, um, white genocide. genocide. Yeah. Research it. Do yeah. your research, guys. I don't need to research I think, that. I, think, yeah. Yeah, I know a lot about that being internet. South African, so... Yeah, I've got a lot to talk about that. Mark Little, can you guys give us an update on how China here. keeps lying to the world about their total COVID cases and how high the real numbers? There's no incentive for them to talk about it anymore. Dude, what's like, the point? No, you know what's really irritating? I saw uh, uh, the news from China said that there were 12 new cases. 11 of them were foreigners. Yeah, of course they're foreigners. And only one Gotta of them was the from foreigners. some random part of China. And yet you go to Taiwan where they're having an outbreak and guess what they blamed it on? Not a foreigner. Because no, you know what? It was a Taiwanese pilot. Yeah, they tell the truth. Yeah. Because there's no point in lying about stuff yeah, like they, this. They just simply cannot admit any no. kind of failure nope. or fault. It always nope. has to be someone else's fault, you know? Right. It's really frustrating. 
Tyler Durden. Uh, qua- uh, how do you say quadruple? What's next? How do you say who? Like quintet? <laughs> Qu- quintuple. Yeah, quintuple. Quintuple yeah. three. I bag out a CCP on Facebook using my real profile under a fake name. Do you think I should have any issues going to China in the future? My relatives are there. Uh, not unless you're no. big. No. If you're Would big, be- then they know. Yeah, and uh, look, as long as it's not tied directly to your real name yeah. and you haven't picked up any kind of press or anything, you'll be okay. That's fine. Yeah. Sunny Chow, uh, Jennifer Zhang, a uh, persecuted Falun Gong practitioner, chatted with me this week on her YouTube channel. She told me to recommend her to be on your podcast. Can you guys have her on to tell the story? We'll have to look at who she is first, obviously. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, we're open to any guests, really. Um, yeah, we're open to guests, and um, you yeah. know, we'll t- take a look and make sure it's not some political motivated thing or something. Right. Belton Rhodes, uh, can we retile this episode, the Guli Archipelago? <laughs> <laughs> Guli Archipelago, that's great. I like that. Yeah. Uh, my butt has teeth, says an entire... Con- <laughs> that's very worrying, by the yeah. way. Yeah. My entire Control-C, Control-V uh, propaganda. propaganda campaign. That's yeah. exactly what this is. Yeah. Uh, PB says, like the Joshes, all called the Ghoulies from Xinjiang, should have the CCP-sponsored Battle Royale to decide who gets the legitimate Guli from Xinjiang. Yeah, exactly. Oh, the jo- you heard about yeah. the Joshes? No. Oh, there was like a challenge on TikTok or something. It was like a guy named Josh. He's going to battle for his name to be Josh. And then all the Joshes came in, and they had this huge meeting where the- all Joshes from oh, around the country. Yeah, yeah, I did hear about that. So the Ghoulies have to have legitimate Guli battle. All right. Uh, PBG K Festerton, if you're watching, can we have an artwork of uh, she with Winnie's body and a ponytail? That is the guy that's been making amazing artwork on our subreddit, GK oh, right. Festerton. GK Festerton, yeah. Rick Son Johnson. of a mother. <laughs> Sorry. What are you doing? Yeah. My bad. Give me a second. Cool. All right. Um, it says, uh, Fred says, thank you for exposing Project Ghoulie. Yeah, Project Ghoulie. <laughs> I like that. I yeah. like that. PV, Winston with a facial tattoo and a ponytail. Yep. Uh, Davet11, one, one, Free China, and cheers, beers. Mm-hmm. Cheers to you. Leo James, thank you. LNRs, Bitcoin is not secure. Use privacy coins like Monero. Okay, thanks. Right. <laughs> thanks. Great advice. It's real sell. Call my hedge fund manager. <laughs> <laughs> you, think we're, you think we got money floating yeah, around? I don't, I don't do that kind Come of thing. Come on, guys. Yeah. I think they think we're YouTubers make big bucks or something. <laughs> yeah. Real Salica. If we did, we'd be able to take out epic, epic ad, ad campaigns, campaigns on yeah. CCP videos. Yeah uh london water are you guys worried about returning to china <laughs> oh, that's not part of our future plans my no, friend. no no seth wilson what's the language situation like in your family so are you trying to raise your children bilingually yeah we speak about half chinese half english in my house well, my kid's not speaking yet but uh it's just saying a couple little words and nice. yeah it's kind of like half cantonese half english anyway yeah we we do mandarin i'm a mandarin family and he's a cantonese family which is weird because my wife's native language is cantonese, cantonese but i speak mandarin so we just decided oh, on mandarin. we'll definitely introduce uh, mandarin later the thing is sure. my mother's on the phone uh, what am i saying my mother my wife is on the phone with her mother and father all the time speaking cantonese with the kid and like a video chat so there's a lot of cantonese going on i speak english with my wife and my kid at home and speak a little bit of mandarin uh, mandarin with my wife but there's no need to introduce a third language no no i agree just i just yet. think it's interesting that <laughs> yeah i have a mandarin yeah. household and you have a cantonese yeah one. it is weird magnum beef mm. uh, says i concede belton Rhodes is a better name yeah and actually you're spelling it wrong it's a real name belton like yeah. Rhodes, like R H O. like Rhodes, cecil john Rhodes. Yeah. you know Rhodes memorial is what we had in cape town there so he well, it was nice of me. He conceded. Yeah. Um, he said orc, but orc monkey is dead anyway. Long live the Magnum Beef. Magnum Beef, why bring back orc monkey two thousand? <laughs> yeah, we'll it's, it's just a pleasure to read. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Grant, do you think it's appropriate to flag these channels as social media as government sponsored? A hundred percent. It's yes. Don't brigade. We never tell someone to brigade, but it is government sponsored. It is, 100%. and it should be labeled as such. Yeah. If it's being pushed by the foreign ministry spokesperson of China. Right. That's pretty obvious i reported a cgtn video a youtube channel that wasn't marked and it absolutely should always be marked and it's yeah. legal it's the law here in the u.s yeah. to say that you're affiliated with a foreign government with a foreign so you government, have to yeah. do that and yes i agree i wonder if the shills should start doing that they should have well they're already tied they're recruiting for freaking media yeah. challengers yeah, they're the recruiting CGTN for the stuff. chinese government now yeah they are uh, so they should be have that label. Yeah. Huge Pines. Hi, I've been following you from Switzerland. Really enjoy your content. Have you had a chance of comparing Israel's propaganda versus China? I don't know anything about Israel's propaganda no, or Israel. I haven't been paying attention to all that stuff. Maybe we'll catch up at some point, but yeah. I have no idea how, how that goes. I know goes. it's a serious situation over there, but it's sure. not, not been in my wheelhouse. So no. I've kind of left it alone. I mean, yeah, there, there is apartheid there. Yeah, yeah, there is, isn't there? But yeah. I mean, that's still not in my wheelhouse. So I'm no. not paying attention. We we talk about China. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Simon Mayo, mm. thank you. 
J Man, nice guy, 1492. Guan Xi Corner, my Chinese girlfriend is watching this live. Can you say happy 520? Yeah, for yeah, us? that's right. Happy Wu uh, Ar Ling Kwai Lanini. Yeah, Wu Ar Ling, which is, you know, 520. It kind of sounds similar to uh, Wu Ai Ni. Can I just call bullshit on that? Okay, look, Wu, Wu, I get it. R, so I. Eh. Wu means I. Yeah, yeah, right. Me. me. I. Yeah. Right. I means love. Love. Yeah. Me means you. I love you. But Ling, I think it sounds similar to Nin. Or Ling. Because you yeah. know, like when you say Ni Hao or like Ni, ni means you. Means but Nin is like a, a proper, polite, yeah. proper way to call someone. So it's probably like similar. Ling is similar to Nin. So today is 520, May 20th. It's so another. It's, Ar Ling. it's basically like a Valentine's Day in China, but it's one of many. They have. It's like a many. billion. There are so many. Be careful if you're a guy. You're gonna have to celebrate this stuff. I hated time. that about in China. It's like if you have a girlfriend or your wife, dude. How many Valentine's Day do you have to do? Yeah. Stop. Yeah, exactly. There's like a red Stop. Valentine's Day, a white Valentine's. Today's Day. a Valentine's Day based on a name of a number. Yeah, just a number like Warling. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Warling Kwai Lanini. Um, yeah. Thank you, J Man. Nice guy. Yeah. Uh, J. Leo says, it seems like you guys didn't play the inside. Oh, sorry, I read that. Kiwi Bear yeah. Muzza, thank you. SP, thank you. Mm -hmm. Astaroth the Grim, hey, fellas, love your videos. Have you guys ever watched the interview with Yuri Beznikov talking about the subversion of the West? Yes, we've yeah. uh, seen it. Seen it many times, or we've discussed this many times. Thank you. And what China's doing is a very ham fisted kind of attempt. Yeah. yeah. Uh, L. Yung Leong. Um, any updates on the red tr truck or sea milk's mystery car? Red truck update coming up. Oh man, yeah, we changed it's the whole done. look of it now. It's it looks done. awesome. Yeah, uh, Siptarshi, Siptarshi Sengupta says, Hope you and your families are fine. Your podcast today was a breath of fresh air, especially with so much death around me. Thank you. I'm sorry about what's happening in it's India. It's awful. Uh, we love you, Siptarshi. You are like a super fan here. Mm -hmm. You're awesome. We love you. And, and everyone in safe. India yeah. uh, who's going through this terrible Please time. Please stay you know? safe. I love India. It's, it's a fantastic place. It's a very interesting place. And it's terrible to see people suffering right yeah. uh katen guan how to wake up china my chinese people to fight against the ccp people have been brainwashed too long free china world from the ccp it's tough my my buddy it's tough i understand um mm. sorry getting spammed yeah um, spam. but keep your head high and, and try not to argue directly with people that's not how you're going to do it no no look i mean look if you if you can turn them onto our content really yeah. if you can and uh, just speak in, in logic and truths, you know? Yeah. SP, uh, thank you for speaking on Uyghurs. I know many who say the same thing. Can you speak for the Uzbeks, Tajiks, and Kazakhs also being detained, please? Of course. When we say Uyghurs, unfortunately, we are talking about the dominant group that's being persecuted. Unfortunately, we also have the Uzbeks, Tajiks, and Kazakhs in the same mm. province that are Correct. being the exact same treatment. Yeah. yeah. So our heart goes out to them as well. Yeah. Uh, Ross Wolf, this is for Buy, Winston, a mullet wig fund. Yeah, I could uh, rock a mullet. I think a mullet would be awesome. Kind of already have one. Mullet wig? Yeah. No, that's like the dude. No, I have a blonde one. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, interesting. I didn't know you had it's a like a part wig. of a Halloween costume laying oh, in the okay, closet. Interesting. It's very Try dusty, it but... Uh, Caleb, thanks for spreading awareness about the treachery of the CCP. Both of you, both of you are what the West needs now. Thank you. Kyle K. Hi, guys. Do you think there's a, any way the CCP knows that I follow your channels? I'm a bit paranoid of being in contact with my Chinese friend without a VPN. I highly no, doubt it. No, they won't know. You're not using your last name here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah. Wing083. Winston, what's your thoughts on Cobra Kai? And will you break boards on stream with <laughs> C-Milk? I really liked uh, Cobra Kai, actually. I thought it was pretty I, awesome. I loved it as well. Yeah, it was a good, good series. My wife and I enjoyed it very much. Yeah. It's super cool. A big throwback to the 80s. I love the 80s. Everything about the 80s. You should see my little room that I've set up with all my 80s you know technology and stuff it's my thing i love the 80s i'm a 90s yeah. man myself yeah makes sense I mean, yeah age yeah. gap yep um kyle k ran out of words thanks for the videos thank you thank you celtic conservative says taiwan is better than china in many in many ways in many aspects in many ways yeah but i wouldn't compare the country empirically i would compare their lack of human rights atrocities <laughs> sure, versus sure. punk yeah. face xo is it easy for a white woman to marry a chinese man in china yes, yes very easy is it uh that it is for a white man to marry a chinese woman much much easier yeah asking for a friend absolutely because you know you have to pay a bride price yeah but if you're a woman you don't have to pay a bride it's price. not only that there's some you'll get money bizarre, your family will get money this yeah there's some bizarre level of acceptance if a white woman or a foreign woman marries a chinese man versus the vice versa i don't know oh, why it's have you noticed that it doesn't matter what culture really 
But when you've got those guys that are like, you race mixer, you know, you got these terrible kind of xenophobic racists who are like, you're stealing our women and stuff. It's those same people who yeah. are like cheering on when like right. a person from their country or their race marries yeah. someone from another We're race. We're talking about Chinese people yeah, that it, say that. Yeah. yeah, all the time. There are these forums that like really hate us because we have Chinese wives. Yeah. And like they keep going on this, this, and they have these horrible names that they call the any kind of w- Chinese woman that marries a white guy. They've yeah, got like these disgusting, toilet. disgusting names. But then on the same post, they'll be like, "Look at this golden man scores, you know, with the snow bunny or whatever." And then they'll show like a, a Chinese guy with a, a white woman. And they'll be like, "Yeah, great!" And they all celebrate it. It's like, dude, you know, it's funny though. Is that they always go like, "I bet they're, I bet they're so angry right now because their white women are marrying Chinese men." We're like super pumped Let's that takes pressure it. off of us yeah go because like it. we're so sick of people saying you race mixer like oh how dare you like steal our women and stuff so when we see a white woman marrying a chinese man we're like hell yeah that's awesome that's fantastic my, my favorite thing out of all the whole thing is how they call themselves golden men it's like the the funniest thing the golden men are here to to take over the world we golden men i was just like, i don't this know is, anything about that oh world. man this is so funny i it's love it so of, much i'm not of this world yeah this it's just, born at. yeah it's really really funny uh me no not me either hope mm-hmm. you and your families are well uh take care best from down under and up and over mm. thank you yeah. ross wolf obviously the ccp is focused on taiwan but do you believe there's any interest in taking over mongolia short term or long term very much so for yeah. the rare earths Yes. Uh, war crimes. Uh, Sen Joyer, 3000 Bosnia. Cheers to my two favorite Falun Gong practitioners. <laughs> Lol. Uh, I'm, my Falun Gong's pretty rusty because I can't fly yet. <laughs> and my cancer is really flaring. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> I gotta say, look, seriously, yeah. although we respect uh, the right for people to follow weird like things like Scientology. Follow their own. Yeah, follow their own Follow your heart. We certainly don't subscribe to any of that stuff. I'm completely just... Yeah open-minded when it comes to everything but i certainly do not follow some kind of uh odd alternative religion would you call it i guess i guess yeah i'm i'm catholic yeah Um, i'm nothing right i just i appreciate all you know and and that's that's fine i appreciate appreciate all religions to a certain degree and they all have shitty sides and they all have good sides and i like to look at the good sides and you know it's good to guide people in the right direction but yeah certainly not I, i would never ever follow That's, anything that would require me to go stand in a park and do breathing exercises early in the morning i gotta say if there is a religion <laughs> that we would probably be the least apt to do it would probably be falun gong because of the yoga and stuff involved that mm. is just not our cup of tea never ever ever no anyway sorry anyway, just but, uh, not that we have to uh, yeah. yeah but power to all the people who want to do it though go ahead yeah mm. pb says think of this as five bitcoin for it's the thought that counts. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Thank you for <laughs> like that. that. Yeah. The YouTube Lung Wang from CCP supports you. Okay. <laughs> Who's Lung Wang? I don't know. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jay Leo says, "What kind of evaluation would true rappers such as Eminem, Snoop Dogg, Fifty Cent give of the CCP propaganda cringe rap?" Probably a zero out of ten. <laughs> They're probably less generous than us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we hope you're well. Well, sorry. What's up? Hope you're well. Says Eski. Yeah, thank you. Uh, leadership clone. Why? Why bit? Seems. What is why bit? I dish. don't know. Why bit seems Biden and current administration are falling for a CCP funded stop Asian hate movement. It's life. Oh. It's just what what they do. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of research into that. If you follow me on Twitter, yeah, every, go watch. Every his time research. I find something that's interesting, I repost it. But it's totally not what people are saying, and it's actually it's a it's a, a much bigger thing that's been going on for a very long time, and it's got much deeper and much darker roots at the end of it it's something that needs to be addressed and has been an issue in america and elsewhere for a very long time sure so i'm trying to do the best that i can to try and find the root cause of this problem yeah that'll be that's in your wheelhouse yeah so um luel pmvs thank Mm -hmm. you sp says hey guys thanks for answering why does uzbekistan and kazakhstan support china and not speak up against them despite their people being detained and that that is the people in kazakhstan are really pissed off there's protests no there's protests all the time They are not pro-China at all. Yeah. Unfortunately, Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan have very, very low levels of freedom in their government. Yeah. So their government will follow whatever strategically, you know, important in the region. Correct. Bordering countries, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, but yeah, Uzbekistan has sent Uyghurs back to China, which mm. is horrific. It's yeah, Kazakhstan as well. Yeah. Uh, Magnum Beef um, meant to ask you, C Milk, did you check out any of the stuff from Final Fantasy fourteen Fan Fest last weekend? I did. I got a couple earrings um some really oh you mean that sorry i thought you meant that event um earrings yeah you wouldn't be able to wear earrings if you're on chinese state media by the way that's very true 
you'll notice that if you ever see any CCB, CCB shills, like yeah. the white monkeys out there, if they're going on these trips, but they previously wore earrings, they'll be taking them out for these trips. Yeah. You'll see. We're calling They it. obviously don't care enough about their own standards and their own style or whatever. That no. They have to capitulate to the Chinese state media. And about the new expansion, um, I'm I'm three expansions behind, so I don't want to read too much into it. Mm. Kony, Tsung, uh, Kony Tsung says, not just foreigner, I'm a Taiwanese. One time I was on an overnight train to Shanghai. A Chinese man got so mad after learning I was dating a Chinese girl, he started calling Taiwanese poor. <laughs> that sounds par for the course. Yeah, that sounds sure. exactly correct. Uh, the YouTube says, you missed the joke, Long Wang from CCP Sports you. Okay. I still don't get it. Long Wang. Long mm. Wang. I guess like a long dick? Maybe. I'm still missing yeah, the joke. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah. Jordan T. Russo, do you know Michael Malice? He's got a great podcast. There's the name drop again. I don't know. To this day, we've never had a name drop that we know. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Keep up the tradition. Yeah, we're kind of in a very small so we do what we do stuff yeah here yeah. yeah. but there. we appreciate it yeah. guys thank you so much for watching play again. Out with a rap. we will we will um again you're part of a very important conversation here like this yeah this look at what we came up this with ra this this ridiculous not only the raps and stuff but this ridiculous propaganda now that they're using pretty xinjiang girls to like say oh there's nothing wrong there's no genocide or anything and then putting it on videos like ours and probably any video that has anything bad to say or anything contradictory to the Chinese government to say about Xinjiang, this is a big thing that we've uncovered. And this is something that you can expect more and more. They are using our social media against us. You yep. have to understand the Chinese government, which blocks YouTube and blocks Twitter, they are using YouTube and Twitter to further their propaganda. So okay? that the only thing you see out of there is propaganda. Yeah, and so they're doing that, and they're also trying to suppress freedom of speech and suppress right. and censor people like us. And so thank you for being a part of this and keeping us alive by watching our videos and supporting us through whichever means you do. It means the world to us. So thank you very much. We're going to play you out with that. Um, not as cringe as before, but, but still really cringe rap. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to see you guys, uh, you know, actually next week, we're not having a podcast. No, uh, we, yeah. we wanted to announce. We're still working. We don't have don't time worry. for podcasts. You'll Sorry. still see videos on our channels come out next week. But next week, because we've got a big project on the go, there won't be a podcast. But the meetings. following week, don't worry, we'll be right back. So can't wait to see you then. And until then, let's play out with this rap. <laughs> Chang, Oh, yeah, and I uh, forgot to say stay awesome, by the way, so I'm just going to leave you with that. Stay awesome, guys, and hopefully I will not. <laughs> hopefully I won't cut myself out. Anyway, see you next time.